not in phase. Main screen turn on. Hi. Oh, it's, it's back up. What do you mean it's back Remember up? Remember you said your video cannot? So, oh, you so swapped it from that there. isn't there. Yes. Because, sorry, we're having trouble playing your video. Is but anybody this is having issues live... seeing this? No, because... they're not having issues seeing it. All right. But I can't refresh it. Because Hi. it'll mess up They're having issues the whole talking. thing. You may have noticed there's no music this yeah, time. Yeah, there's no beautiful yes. intro music from the New Jersey native band Solace. Uh, who um, who is my band. Yeah, interesting story. Justin, who who I believe now, now correct me if I'm wrong here, but there's five of you in the band, right? Cool. Yeah, yeah. And you guys all share equal, like, writership. Ownership of the music. Ownership yep. of the music. Correct. Meaning copyright, trademark, yes. that kind of thing. That's correct. Right? Yep. So you're 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 one of the copyright. We are all Salas. Salas owns the copyright. Yes, beautiful, perfect. <coughs> so what happened to us this <coughs> week? Why don't we talk about it? We got a copyright infringement notice. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And from, Justin uh, got COVID. <laughs> Just kidding. You need to go in there. <laughs> we got a copyright infringement notice yeah. from YouTube. Yeah. Farpoint did, not Salas. Yeah. Yes. That we were using, that the music we were using was copywritten. Yeah. And I said, that's funny, I own the copyright. So we looked at who opened the copyright claim, and it was not Justin's band. It was not Justin's band's label. It was not anyone <coughs> that has any legal claim to this music. But YouTube doesn't bother looking into it. No, it's some they sort don't. of conglomeration. Yes. Yes. You're right. <coughs> so as of right now, yeah. we're I can't silent. use my own music. We're on mute. Can't use my own yeah. music. Um, it's it, terrible. It turns out, we did some research. Banshee is doing mushrooms. It turns... Matt. <laughs> Matt asked if Banshee's okay. Obviously, he's uh, in some sort of fun position. <laughs> so, yeah. So, apparently... Oh, jeez, um, Tucker. So, Matt, that's it's good to hear that your band had a copyright infringement, fought it, and won. Uh, this is with YouTube, not Facebook. Yeah. Um, so, YouTube DMCA, as Matt said, Matt pointed out, is is pretty bad. Um, they're a big co uh, comp uh, company. They're a big corporation. Uh, Mark said robots. you can't fight robots. Exactly. It's really true. You can't. Unless you're Will Smith. Um, so the thing with them is that because a big company, quote unquote, has put out this copyright infringement claim, they just go along with it. It's bullshit. That it, it, yeah. it, then it's on. It's put on us to prove that we actually own it when we actually do. Uh, it's very maddening. I think yeah. they took down some of our videos. They did. So if you're trying to watch old Barber Towns or any of those from Much Better Right Now, you won't be able to until we either mute the I music. Know what to do. I gotta be honest. I do have an option to mute the music. I'm not muting my music. But I'm not muting music that that uh, an entity that we are he is has the right to use at its discretion. So I'm pretty perturbed about that overall. Um, but so that that's why, why you sat in silence. You sat in silence. You and all did nothing wrong. Yeah. You're all being punished. <laughs> right? Neither did you. So, well, Tucky, uh, Tucker's here. I'm Justin. It's my wife, Penelope. And that's Tucker. This is Tucker. And he's really the most important He thing. is uh, Penelope's sister, our production assistant. He's not my sister. <laughs> I our, wish. Our producer. <laughs> he is Penelope's sister's dog. Our producer's dog. He is my sister. Uh, no. We are... Two thirds, two and thirds. then some friends in the circle. Two thirds and of four point toys. Yeah. We're actually half. Frank is the other half. You get into this every week, like. <clears throat> but there's, there's three of us. There's so. three far point tiers, yep. and we are two Frank's of them. Frank's at home asleep. Um, we have had a <laughs> uh, couple days of just lots of work. Um, <clears throat> we Frank Oscar said, "Punish me with good deals." Frank found a collection. <laughs> uh, we brought Perry, the uh, the Great White Hunter. You may, who, and, who you may remember from um, Bartakamos a few weeks ago. So we spent the day <laughs> yesterday with Frank and Perry going through yeah. 20 long boxes of comics, 10 yeah. short boxes. How many tubs of toys? Tubs and tubs of toys. Yeah. It was just a long day. I never posted. Do what we do. We love it. I never posted the pictures from that. Oh, man. It was actually like a two-day thing. Uh, day one was like the preview and like the kind of like the wheeling and dealing. And then day two was the actual like moving and, and looking at everything um, that happened. What do you think, Tucker? Tucker wants to sit with me. So, um, I you think. might notice there's a bunch of, speaking of Perry, yeah. there's a bunch of, Go find it kind of looks like uh, the warehouse from Indiana Jones in here. What the end is of Indiana this? Jones. These are, oh my gosh, it's a case of rock It's, it's kind of like, so Perry, we, no, we don't like to tell everybody this, but between us, Perry has a DeLorean, and he goes back <laughs> to 1985 once in a while, and he found sealed cases. That's a sealed Okay, this is not today's sale. Strap. This is strap. kind of a between us teaser yeah. for next week's sale. Yes. That is a sealed case of Tonka Rockloids. Yes. From the eighties. Yes, it is. Sealed. Sealed. Never opened. Never opened. Entire case. One hundred percent. This is a sealed unopened. case of 
uh, Cabbage Patch Kid. Not they're Cabbage called, Patch Kids. They're called Stuff and Puffs. And they're kind of like um, pillow. Oh, you stuff and puff. No, they're kind of like um, not pillow pets. What are the um, pillow people? They're kind of like pillow people, but you stuff them yourself. Sealed. <laughs> That's a sealed case of freaking Rubik's cubes from the yeah. 80s. Yeah. Open it. Are you kidding me? Yes, yes we're gonna open we're it. Gonna I pushed it the wrong it. way. We did push it the wrong way. You made it go further off screen, which is amazing. That sealed. Is Twelve sealed. Vintage Rubik's Cubes. Mm-hmm. Crazy. In, in original packaging. And, and then this is underneath it a sealed case of GoBots Go yes. scales yes. from GoBots. GoBots. This is we? all sealed. We are going to be yes. opening. Yes. We're doing next week to give There's you guys. Case Fresh. Yes. We're going to. I think we'll call it Case Fresh. I was going to call it What's in the Box. What's in the Box. Because it's literally only four cases. We really don't even so know. Far. They might have been resealed. There might be body parts. There's no body boxes. parts. There's no resealed. There might be. Why um, would you even say that? Robot no. parts. Um, there you might can't be, fight robots. You Matthew fight Fox, them. where in God's name do you find these things? We got Matthew, tendrils. We got. So we're, we're like, like Hydra. Hydra. That was spooky. But not Nazis. Yes, without the Nazi part. Did we really just do that? We did, because it's the thing we always say. No, we don't. What's with these? We always say the same thing. No, but we don't. I've never said we're like Hydra before. When you I say have tendrils, said it, you say it our once mo- a week. Our minds must went in the same no, place. you no. say it like once a week. No, Every time. I've never said we're like I'm Hydra. sorry, but you have. Every time you talk about us having tendrils, you say like Hydra, but not Nazis. Uh, Mark asked what's with the, um, the caches of 34 year olds. So we know one cache in South America. We couldn't make a deal with the guy. Because um, COVID made it really hard to travel down there. And he found a <laughs> uh, basically mask and mad balls, a warehouse full of sealed cases. No ball sacks, though. But no, but um, but uh, <laughs> you can't do a huge load. We, we couldn't buy in bulk because you can't ship that way because yes. of uh, international. You yes. know, um, what's a word for that when they got to pay the tariffs? NAFTA, tariffs, and tariffs stuff. And yeah. customs. So he, the, the poor oh, guy has to sell them in small boxes at a time. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin, that's the mass cash. Yes. We actually were, were trying to make a deal for like a huge load of that. Tucker wants to sit with me. Good. Uh, me? Why would you ever couldn't, you couldn't work it out because of tariffs. Can you please just put them in here? So we're not going to do just a couple boxes okay. because they're going everywhere. So soon the, now, the uh, every, every every toy store is going to have a couple sealed boxes of ma- mask volcanoes. And it's cool to have. My, my, my but the, you got to kind of control the market on that. If not, everybody has them. And it's not worth buying because you can't really... It's a race to the bottom. <laughs> well, I'll sell mine for $10 less. Well, I'll sell mine for $10 less. It's just not... Hell Hydra. Without the Nazis. Not worth the investment. But as a collector, it would be. Yeah. Certainly. Yeah. So next week, we are... Opening 40-year-old boxes. Yeah, I don't... I feel... For those of you who watched our last bar of Much Harder Right Now with uh, us putting together the uh, the Fortress of Fangs with the sealed bags, you know how I feel about opening sealed things? Um, I don't feel good about it normally. No? This is a little... I don't know. This is different. I, I don't... Can we have a Rubik's Cube contest? I can't wait to see what the packaging looks like. I don't want to open things that are sealed. The cool thing is the Rock Lords, I don't know if it's all the same Rock Lord we don't know or what's a in it. wave of Rock yeah. Lords. Yeah. We have no... So this says Rock Lord's Gnarlies on it. I don't know what that means. Oh, Gnarlies are, are a little bit later and rarer. Well, it says Gnarlies on the side. Oh, man. Michelle wants one of the Cabbage Patch Kids. They're really cool and weird. They're not actually dolls. Michelle, we have yeah. something here oh. for Jim. Oh, we do. Not to get too personal. Yeah. Uh, but I want to sh- I'll shoot a picture to Jim. There's something... Jim... Jim used to work here before it was a toy store. Yes, he worked at this location yes. when it was not a toy store. It was so anyway, we, we found Shannon. something that he, he might be able to do something with. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> hi. We, this is a claim that sale. so cryptic. This is a claim sale. He found sale. something he may be able to do something with. It's not, a, uh-huh. it's not magical. This is a claim sale. We, and we is it? Gonna talk and is talk it a claim talk. sale or are we just going to talk and talk and talk? Yeah, Kevin just said it's like when they found a warehouse of Astro Trains. And, and the value fell. That's value what happens because unless one person or, or one store is controlling what, the, the the output of that stuff, <laughs> they're rock lords with fur. Oh, I can't wait. Um, they're rarer though. They're not. Uh, <laughs> There's a rock lord with fur. <laughs> so anyway, um, Jim's here. Is there anybody new here? Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain. <laughs> You should just assume that there's somebody new here every week. All right. Well, this is a claim show. We, we, we will get to stuff. selling things. 
I, I... Oh, Michelle used to work here too. I forgot. Oh wow. She realizes now who our, our favorite McCabe must be. Oh. Oh, I didn't. Yes, I, your daughter. Think, yeah. <laughs> nice save. Nice <laughs> save. Well done. <laughs> Matt, claimed, somebody already claimed it, Matt. Sorry, you're second. Yeah, someone also somebody claimed else. the body parts that may or may not be in these boxes. Uh, so this is a claim sale. We are two-thirds of Farpoint Toys and Collectibles. Uh, our, our main business is buying, selling, trading toys, comic books, action figures, video games, and other cool vintage things. Um, we've been closed for a year. Next week's Barter Town will be the one-year anniversary of We need of to do like a, rear, a year recap and do like still pictures. Of the barter towns and have like sad music. Years. Yes, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Some shots Unfortunately, we can't use that music because we'll get a copyright infringement hit. That wasn't loud enough, Tucker. Anything right next to the Matt said one? he never worked here, but he sold stuff to the, the toy store. Uh, um, who's the other third? The other uh, third, third is Frank. Frank, our partner who is not here with us he, again. He um, owned a store sale. called It's a Toy Store, which was yes. like the, the, the best toy store. The cream of the crop. On the East Coast, I, I would harbor to say. Um, he has since best. kind of retired from running the store. But, you know, he is the heart, he's part of the heart and soul of this place, for sure. He's at home sleeping right now. He's not going to be joining us because he's had a rough, he's had a rough couple of days. Should we tell the folks no, at home? Yeah, no, it's okay. personal. He's yeah. had a rough couple of days, and, yeah. and, and we've had a couple, good couple of days, too, so it's been, it's been. So, at any rate, yeah. we, uh, we do these claim sales on Sundays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time every week, um, just to, you know, bring the Farpoint experience to you folks at home because you're all money. Well, making money is yeah, good too. Closed. Um, but uh, really, to bring the Farpoint experience to you guys at home because y'all aren't coming here um, at the moment. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about stuff. We're going to show off the stuff. We're then going to quote the price of said stuff. At which point, it is open for claim. If you would like the item in question, you just want to say claim item. So if you wanted to claim Tucker, for example, once we name his price, you would say claim Tucker, claim cute dog, you can't claim Tucker, claim Chihuahua, claim cute little dude, Tucker. What are you doing? No, I didn't want, I'm not even going to come to me. I just wanted to say your name. Well, you don't say his name. You're going to have to take him. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I claimed Tucker. You said so once we say yeah, the, the price of something, you can yes. claim it. Uh, don't claim it before we say the price or I'm going to sick Tucker on you. I'm covered in dog hair. And then hair. charge you $500. You realize that being sicked on by Tucker just means so, he's going to hug and kiss you, right? So um, And cover you with dog hair. Covering. First person to say claim Tuck, exactly what we'll be saying. After we say Tucker's price. Yes, Tucker. I'm covering dog right? here. Uh, our prices include free shipping in the United States. Yeah. Uh, at the end of this, we will send you a... Um, It'll be a PayPal link that you can use to check out yeah. with any debit card, credit card. It'll be a cute little message saying thank you for being here. <laughs> I kind of copy and paste it to everybody, but sometimes I personalize it. Some of you might realize Oh, my that. gosh. You mean you might get a personalized message sometimes from Justin? Sometimes it's personalized. Wow. Well, we sit up late at night sending these things out, and it gets long and tedious sometimes. Because but we, once in a while, yeah. if like something happens, I'll mention it and be like, hey, that was funny, right? Ha ha. So at any rate. Especially because um, <laughs> like people like Veronica and, and Alicia and Chris Wild, like, oh, yeah. can they we have talk brought about, food. Yeah, let's talk about Veronica real quick. I love Love our, I love our group. Veronica, so uh, Veronica stopped by today to pick up some of her Barter Town spoils from the last few weeks, and she dropped off some amazing, they are uh, banana bread with walnut. Tastes like banana bread. Cookies. I don't have a coffee right now. Or but they're, they're diabetic friendly because as you all know, at this point, Justin is diabetic and should not be eating sweets of any kind. Um, that was incredibly sweet of her. I have not had one yet, so I can't wait. To try one. Of these. Tucker wants to get in there. Yeah, Tucker is all over the place today. <sighs> so this week we got some just carded. Listen, yeah. we've been. You guys have been really spending a lot of money in the past couple weeks. <laughs> he is and all although we enjoy Tucker. money, uh, we don't want to ring you folks dry. I mean, you, you he's know, lying. The conversation. I definitely want to ring you all of you dry. Stay for the toys. No, just um, money. So it's, 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 it's gonna be a light week. I got some like we got some carded. 90 Star Wars. We didn't prepare very well. well. I do have some graded comics that our VIPs have seen. Yes. So uh, even though it says Star Wars in the title of this week, it seems like what we're really going heavy on is some graded books that we have right behind us. Um, and some of that's from the collection that we got in, this whole thing we just recently yes. did. So Alicia, they are yummy. Yeah. Alicia has made me... Um, Alicia uh, has keto-friendly pizza. pizza, which is amazing. And it's not gross. And she made cookies, too. It's not cauliflower stuff. Oh, it's no, good. It's, dude, Her bacon, serious. she made bacon, maple, P pickle? cookie, pickle pizza, uh, all kinds of crazy. Um, Y'all are too good to us. Y'all are too good to us. Chris deserve. Wilde fed us. This, our year anniversary is coming up. Chris Wilde fed us many, many times. Um, Donovan just said that our uh, toy stimmies are on the way. Oh, yeah. We're going to give you all a break <laughs> until stimmies hit. And then we'll bring the big guns out again. 
That's a really good, I like the way you spun that. Like, we're going to be light to keep it easy for you guys this week, not like we didn't really do any of the work this week, so we're just going to put whatever we found laying around. Well, some of this came from the collection yesterday. We, it did. I have, so we have about 300, 400 loose Star Wars yes. figures. And we were going to do them last week, and we didn't get just to it. Just because of what's going on in the past couple of days, we haven't, I haven't been able to get to it. And we were going to do it this week, and we didn't get to it, because it's very labor-intensive. Very labor-intensive. Because the, they're all individually bagged. Loose. And we're renovating a building. Yes, which means that we need to make sure that they're all complete. First of all, we need to figure out who they are, what toy line they're from. What's the song? Stop, you're going to get a copyright. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we need to make sure they're complete and all that stuff. Um, so, anyway, we brought out some carded 90s. Casper figures. is here for the entertainment. He has to be a reasonable adult and pay his bills. Um, Casper... Like Justin says, come for the toys and stay for the conversation. Or just come for the conversation and see the toys, too. Yeah. Uh, however, we don't care if you just come hang out. Also, no. we have a, <laughs> uh, a VIP Patreon where, like I said, our VIPs get to see these yes. early. The good stuff this week, the VIPs got to see already, which means they get first dibs. Yeah. Which means there's some stuff here. They've also they bought some of our... Yeah. Uh, They've also bought some of my like personal Star Wars. That's stuff another that's thing that's happening. It didn't even hit the regular page. Justin, just selling stuff Justin is downsizing his personal collection, and the VIPs are getting all that stuff, uh, and and they're 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 nabbing it up. So y'all aren't even seeing it. If you want to become a Farpoint VIP, the link is right above my head. You're eating in front of a dog. What is that, Tucker? He's like freaking dog. He's going crazy. I wouldn't call that crazy. That to me, it's crazy. He's like trying to jump out of my arms. And into your lap. Sorting and bagging is fun. He's coming. Though. He's coming over. It's what he's coming over. It actually is fun. I, I, I really enjoy it when they let me help. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I have to work a nine to five, so. Yeah, we just discussed that this week. Selena wants to take a week off of work to come to work for Farpoint. There's a disembodied voice. <laughs> that is our production manager, Selena, Penelope's um, sister. Hello. Tucker's uh, we guardian. Actually, <laughs> yeah. We did a few barter towns from... Muppet Studios at Selena's house. Uh, Dina, we put a preview just of the... Just of the, the comics. rated comics. Yeah, the good stuff. We didn't do any of the figures. Because it literally just came in. Anybody interested in, like, die-casts, Hot Wheels type one? What's the scale on these? 164? I'm not sure. Hot Wheels. So I cannot possibly write on this list with cookies on top of my paper and a dog in my lap. Uh, nobody told you I hold a dog. These are, these suck. I can write on the list. These these these, these these things suck, and I'll tell you why. I hold the dog all the time. Here, you write on the list. At the minimum, they cost like three bucks to ship, right? You can't ship anything anywhere in the United States for less than three dollars and seventy four cents. But they're like dollar cars, so it gets to be a. You're not. Weird... Sh I'm not shipping one car. That's not happening. No. <laughs> so. What? Do you? Are you at Disney World? Yeah, these people are at Disney, and they care about us, and they want to see our stuff. Somebody said, hi, disembodied voice. Dave Corson said that. I'm waving. 144th? Is that really what what diecast Hot Wheels are? No way. That's that would it. mean that for every 144 feet, it's a foot? I think they're 64. I think they're 164th. Most of them are. Oh. I don't want to sell these on the street. No Corvettes, Donovan. Sorry. Uh, Hot Wheels Maestos, says Johnny Lightning. Uh, nope. Just some 90s Hot Wheels, a lot of NASCAR. I, nothing I thought anybody would be interested in. It just kind of ended up here. I wasn't even sure I was going to try and sell it. <laughs> this is probably worse than hats. This, uh, yes, worse than hats, but we can't throw them at the camera. Um, I could offer the cars and lots, Kevin. You're, mm -hmm. That's a very good point. Yeah. Andrew, Andrew is sober. sober I'm sorry to hear that. Congratulations, Andrew. <laughs> well, there is one cool yeah. lot here. Is there? Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll start with that. Okay. Let's see if anybody knows how this. This is a cool lot because it's Hot Wheels. And it's three separate Captain America. The Arcaros are at Disney in their hotel room watching us right now. Did you guys like say, "All right, it's time for Bartha, and we yeah, need to we leave to the go. Magic Kingdom"? Yeah, no. You guys love us too much. Yeah, it's not right. We love y'all. It's a sickness. But you're at Disney. <laughs> you're at the happiest place on earth watching us. Yeah. You're, you can only go down from there, right? Right. Theoretically. I wouldn't know. I've never been. Oh. I haven't been in twenty years. Oh, poor baby. All right, so these are, th it's a lot of three Captain America cars. You got like a... We stick them on the thingy. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have camera two. Yeah, here. <laughs> Kevin said the real magic happens here. Kev, I don't, I can't, thank you, I don't agree, but thank you. <laughs> All right, spin it Someday away. Someday we will have a 
a conglomerate like Disney. Will we know? We'll own everything. They left ice- Epcot so they wouldn't miss Barter Town. Oh, God. Now all the pressure's on us. As long as there's ice cream, I'm here for it. Where is uh, that ice cream? That's a very cool oh, lot of Captain America cars. Oh. I tell you the truth, I did not. Epcot has all the beers. Does Epcot have the thing that's called a Dole Whip? Who? It's like a vanilla orange, like, whippy thing. I've, I've heard, heard of, of it. that. I've never had one, obviously, since I've never been there. Um, Alex says Disney is great, but he wouldn't feel great there right now. Neither would I, Alex. I don't even feel great in my own store right now. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I, I, you know, as long as I had baby wipes, or not hand, you know, some sort of wipes, and, uh, yeah, I'd, I'm going to wait until I'll get my shot. I'll wait until I get my shots, at least. Your cares are in better shape than I am. <laughs> Dole Whip at Disney. It's some sort of orange. All right, talk to us about these cars, Justin. That's just a cool lot of okay. Captain America Hot Wheels. How much? I don't know. What, what, you know what's what that going to cost to ship? What year are they from? I don't know. What's it cost to ship? I'm going to assume it's first class. All right, so it's going to cost three something to ship. At, at the minimum. If someone goes in California, it'll be like five ninety four. All right, so uh, $13. $13 dollars ship. For these three Captain America cars. I have my cars. contacts and I couldn't read that completely. Oh, Lord. Well, we're both blind. Let me try. I can, I can magnify it with the phone camera. Old person's, old person's trick. 2015. This one is from 2015. This one is from I 2015. I did get a pretzel from Germany, but deny myself a Kieran beer from Japan. Andrew has claimed the Captain America cars. Okay, so that's how it works, guys. Someone claimed. We said it. We Andrew, priced it. Somebody claimed it. Andrew CZ. Andrew, I, I, what I've been calling you around here because I don't want to mutilate your name. It's Zakolsky. I don't know. Or, or it's Zakolsky. It, see, Shikulski. you don't even know. I, I, I'm just going to make, I'm going to say it's Andrew Zakolsky. Selena, that is a lot of three Captain America Hot Wheels. Which anybody else written, want me to do lots here? Is anybody into lots? With you this? need to write the price of how much. We have NASCAR folks. How are you doing this? McDonald's, oh, 94. That is not the right way. <laughs> Wait, what is the right way? The item, the price, and the person's name. Okay. <laughs> if you don't mind. There's cookies here. Oh. I don't want to eat on stream. I just forgot the... It's all good. I'm going to make a lot of... The CC is pronounced C-H. Chikolsky. Casper, right Casper's before. totally right. It's a downside to buying Hot Wheels and other 164 cards online. The shipping is more than the cars. It is the nature of the game. It is Especially the nature of the game. Look at Tucker. Heavy. Look at Tucker. His little face is so cute on camera, too. It is. <laughs> Speaking of so, of course, he ducks below the table immediately. Speaking of which, we're going to go back to camera one. I love these boxes all around us. It looks very, like... All right. Framed. We're framed in. If anybody's interested, this is a lot of six NASCAR cars. That is not going to be first class. Oh. Maybe, maybe I should just skip the cars then. Just letting you know. I would skip the cars. Tease. I would skip the cars. Tease. Unless you're trying to extend, like, stretch Gotta out. Gotta come to the store for these. Mm. I mean, you could do a bunch. I mean, you just gotta price them accordingly. Yeah, do them with, do them with local pickup. Well, I'll tell you what, if we do local pickup, I feel bad for the folks that aren't local. I know. This is six cars. I'll do it for 12 bucks. Okay. It's, a, it's a McDonald's 94. It's a no, number 99. It's a number 26. It's a number 5. It's Jeff Gordon in the Tide number 10. Tucker is that Jeff looks Gordon? like Am Baby I, Yoda's I, brother. Or no? Aww. He doesn't <laughs> look like Jeff Gordon. He does have Baby Yoda ears, doesn't he? He does have Baby Yoda ears. No, Jeff Gordon. That's not Jeff Gordon. That ugly guy is not Jeff Gordon. I don't know. He's number 10. I don't know who that is. <laughs> and then there's a classic Fred Lorenzen in number 28. Ugh. Six. It's six NASCARs for twelve bucks. Jim One, just two, claimed three, it. Four, five, six. That's them, Jimmy. <laughs> he didn't even show them off. That's them, buddy. Twelve bucks for you. So this is a lot of six. Yes. This is a lot of six NASCAR. How are we going to keep these differentiated from each other so that we don't get them confused? I won't do any more. Okay, that, that sounds that'll, good. That'll work. How's that? I love it. <laughs> hey man, are I had no idea all these years you are a fellow toy fanatic. Spin your arm a little bit more and drop my. <laughs> There you go. Kevin, uh, well, all these years, depends on how many years it is. I mean, how long... Uh, Kevin is... Who's, who's he, oh, he's talking to, he's talking to somebody else. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure who he's talking to. I didn't know if he was Michelle talking to me. Um, all right, I'm going to get rid of the cars. Michelle is cursing from the other room. Why? Oh, because of Jim. Because he's buying things. <laughs> is this a Bruce Lee car? It is. You, it, it's a little oh, fact. Let me, let me he drove... Uh, this car is like water. He drove oh. an car. Little known fact. No. NASCAR can flow. Did I just call him Jim Lee? Can crash. That is really a neat car. I called him Jim Lee. Well, he's a great artist. I absolutely just called him Jim Lee. That's his brother. He he worked for Marvel and then started Image. Actually, it's spelled differently. 
Is it? No, it's not. It's not L I. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh Michelle, Michelle tried to claim it first. Oh, show. Oh, well, that's She's yes. <laughs> that's funny. Michelle, would you like your own lot of NASCAR cars? <laughs> I need to get rid of these cars. Yeah, we're just off. Just do them. If you get local pickup, you get local pickup. Well, no, the thing is that we don't want to get confused with the different lots. Well, turn the camera Well, if they're doubles, I know the, the six camera... goes to Jim. Turn the camera, too. I'll go get a couple bags. Oh, I'm going to go get a couple bags. That works, too. Does yeah, anybody else want some NASCARs? Cars? Someone needs a whole taco while I go get bags. Yeah, this, not even, this, is a, this is a lot of three. Oh, just two. I don't want to. Well, you already have did now. Tucker, I got to put you down. <laughs> Okay. I don't want to. I don't want to do <laughs> okay, then don't do it. Did you see what he just did? I did. He flailed his feet. No, he put one foot on me, one foot on Josh, and he wouldn't let me put him down. <laughs> Take him with you. I'm going to move these cars off the, off the table here. Tucker. I'll tell you one thing I do Tucker. like is these Tucker. muscle cars. <laughs> you won't let me put them down. I would actually collect this. So I'm a, I'm a car guy. Speaking of being a car guy, one of the other things I had going on is my buddy J.R. Martina came down from... The base. He is a uh, he's an active Air Force. Thank you for your service, Sergeant. Uh, but he, we're both Dodge Mopar guys. We both have Dodge Magnums. That's how we met. I, I met him at a car show and drooled all over his car because it's, it's I'm trying to build mine. Well, he came down the other day and helped me one of the, one of the beautiful days we had um, assemble a bunch of stuff on the car I needed assembled before I get it uh, wrapped for the store. You know, we're going to use it as a store. Um, Toy wagon. <laughs> Basically, toy shagging wagon. So, uh, I want to give a shout out to JR for helping me. That was really awesome. And he picked up a ton of his Barter Town stuff. He had like months of Barter Town that I, I wouldn't ship him to make him come down here. An open box of Rock Lords. Keith, you didn't miss them. We're doing them next week. Oh. This is just like a extreme. Keith, they are a tease. Next week, we are opening four, at least four. Sealed cases of, of toys. Are we doing more cars? Because um, I went down all those bags just so we could do the cars. I think, I think it's all right. cool. Okay, all right. Well, I'm being forced to do the cars, guys. Well, that means I got a bag and a popular demand. Andrew, you had a Challenger. So my first car was a 73 Charger. Um, and I then I sold it before, right like, I sold it in the right. 90s before. Oh, so good. You should hand them to me. I like how you're doing that on purpose. Yeah. Before the, the the market exploded on those cars, and now I can't get into another project. And if I ever buy another old muscle car, I'm going to buy it redone totally, so I don't have to do a project myself. Oh Lord, what year Challenger did you have? Did you have a modern Challenger or vintage Challenger? Freddie, we keep missing Freddie. See, Freddie knows how busy we've been. He's like, I'm trying to come by, and we're like, Sorry, dude. We're not here. We're yes, out back Alicia or Charger. My else. Charger was a '73. We're not. Away. There's JR. Oh, all the regulars are coming in. Let's screw Stell and stuff. Let's just sit here and talk. I just want to do a, uh, it would be too confusing if we did like a whole thing where we brought everybody on. Like a Zoom? Oh, Willie's Jeep is cool. Veronica said the Chargers are a dream car. All right, so here's, a, this is a very cool lot. These are um, racing champion stock lots. These are like muscle cars. And this is a lot of three. We got like a 40 Merc. I can't tell what it is. I'm just guessing there. This is going to be a, like... It's one of only 19,998. Oh, yeah, they're It says rare. so right on the package. That is a, uh, looks like a 70 Camaro. And this is going to be a, well, a first generation. So, it's not a 67 because that has wing windows. So, this is either a 68 or 69 Camaro. And I'm going to sell these in a lot of three. And uh, they're nice. 4, 8, 12. I don't know. 12 bucks. Just throwing it out there. I love you're just making shit up. Like, I am. Hey, I'm just, this, whatever. I don't, they, they might be five a piece or be 20 a piece. I, I don't know. I know I like muscle cars, and that's a nice Camaro. That's a nice Camaro. And that's. I'm not sure. It's like. That era car is not my era. It's like a 40 Merc or something. Donovan, I have to read out loud the story that Donovan just told. My first car was a Chevy Spectrum. I never got to drive it. A tree fell on it while I was at the shop getting a new transmission. Wow. <laughs> that, Donovan, that hurts. I'm sorry to hear that. Eric is wiping me. old laptops for a donation. Make sure you get all your pictures off of them. Set us a pic of a car he's helping build right now. A 72 Ranch <laughs> Just to make sure all the pictures are off of it. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Tucker does look like baby. So Casper's um, building a 72 Ranch You know what a Ranch is? 
Um, it's Ford's version it of. It is a chicken dish that we can get at Taco El Tio. Our it's my favorite Taco El Tio dish. Favorite place. But it's also Ford's version of an El Camino. Two seater with a with a pickup truck rear. Wow, weird. Yep. Huh. I, lo- I love El Caminos. Isn't it funny they called it a ranchero and you know they say what they are on the top right of the little card, Justin. I think El Caminos are scandalously ugly. It actually doesn't. Yeah, Jr. <laughs> I'm sure it says it somewhere. I just can't find out where. Is it in the tiny print above the logo? I couldn't tell you. I'm I'm sure I can't see tiny I print. Yeah. <laughs> I, we're such a hot mess. No, we're like, yeah, adult there's something on it somewhere. It just, oh, there it is. Something Mercury. I was oh, right. Yeah, this is a 69 Camaro. That's a 49 Mercury sedan. And 49 that's an Mark? 88 Ford Mustang. And that is not 88. That's an 88 Ford Mustang? Oh, Heather's yeah, it here. is. Hi, wow. Oh, so if Jim Knoll is here. Heather said hi to Tucker, not the rest of us. <laughs> That's a Mustang. I thought that was a um, F-body Camaro. Huh. How about that? Anyway, anybody claim these things? No, nope, If not, I'm just going to throw them in the trash. 12 bucks. I love that we're, we're talking about cars. We always inevitably end up talking about cars, dogs, or hot people, or a combination of the three. All right, that's all the cars. <laughs> we're done. All right, that's, that's it. We're not selling anything else this week. You can use an El Camino. As both a car and a bed. Kevin, if you put your mind to it, you can use any car as a bed. That's true. If you're your size. Even my size. You can sleep in her car if you had to. Oh, gosh. I couldn't sleep I, in her car I wouldn't enjoy if I had it. To. <laughs> if you had to. I, I don't know if the word would be sleep. Kermit drives a Volkswagen Bug. Yeah, the, it wouldn't be a sleep. Darth Beetle. So, I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to dogs. To dogs. I'm allergic to talking. Can we? Can you bring the Star Wars figures up? Um, yeah. Here, take it Today we're going to do Star Wars figures. Here, take it I'm definitely allergic to Tucker, but his standing is head of... He's standing... Let's just let Tucker look at what he's doing. His standing is head, head of my household will not be affected. Are we That's doing Tucker, these guys. individually? That's the back end of Tucker. Tucky, turn around, buddy. No, he's showing his butt to the world. What's that, Tuck? What's that? Are we doing these individually? What's that, Tucker? He's going to think it's food. Okay. Nobody's answering me, so I'm just going to throw these up individually. All right. Huh? We're going with some old Star Wars here. We're doing a low dollar here. I need more <laughs> Mark easels. thought we were done. You need more what? I need more easels. Uh, Keith, no, I didn't get a Zartan. Cla- I, I see we're talking about classified. I did not get one yet. But I have them um, ordered from Big Bad Toy Store, so it should be coming. So I'm not really panicking. Um, I haven't been out hunting or anything. Do we have any more Mustangs? No, that was the only one. Who said that? This one's coming off the car. Who said it? We'll, we'll, we'll throw that in the uh, loose bin. Who is something had Star Wars Vintage or Modern? Well, I have to tell you, uh, these are 90s, which God, at this point now. is vintage. These are not in very good shape. The cards are all... Good. All people can bust them off and, and, uh, and sell them and, and play them with the loose. Actually play them. These are going to be very inexpensive. I like toys right. that you can actually play with. I had an 87 Volkswagen Cabriolet convertible. That is a oh. great... Like, I hate oh. to be uh, um, you know, uh, uh, stereotypical, but it's a great chick car. The Cabriolet convertible. It's very like California, um, legally blonde. I don't know. It just <laughs> strikes me as as that. Can you take the dog? Um, that me? depends. If you need me to keep twisting and putting things up here, then no. All right, I'll hold on to this. <laughs> You're literally Our not Zartan doing anything else, so that's a big no. <laughs> it, so, Mark, you have the Zartan um, pre-ordered as well, I guess. Are we forming a Farpoint ring to buy the Hasbro exclusives? Um, I didn't know there were any Hasbro exclusives. Yeah. Actually, it sucks that it has to be so big. What Hasbro exclusives tomorrow yeah, we online? I don't know what Hasbro exclusives you're What am about. I missing here? Yeah. Kevin said Power Force 2 is now vintage. That is scary. It is well, scary. that was. If Back to the Future happened right now, yes. Marty would. I hear the sound you're talking about Thank outside. Thank you. Yeah. It's the rakes and stuff leaning against the... Yeah. It's been very windy here, as Veronica yeah. can attest, because while we were standing outside chatting uh, as she was picking up her barter town, our trash can lids blew off, narrowly missed hitting her car. Oh, brilliant. Thank goodness they didn't, and blew halfway down the road. Uh, it's very windy here. Keith's been hitting every store he can out west uh, <laughs> looking for classifies. <laughs> I get it. I, it stresses me out too way. much. So um, if Marty McFly were to go back... In time, right now, the same way he went back from 1985. Yeah. What year would he land in? 30 years ago. 1991. So if you remember watching Back to the Future in 1985 and thinking, wow, 1955 yeah. seemed it's like so the Stone Age. Ago. 
1955 yeah. is to 1985 as 1991 yeah. is to right now. Yeah. I remember what I was doing in 1991. Nirvana, Soundgarden. I was 11. Junior year. I was 11. I went from being a metalhead to a grungy metalhead. Walmart's revealing a Hasbro exclusives tomorrow. They're putting up pre-orders. They can later cancel on us. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what they Classic do. Classic Ghostbusters, Transformers, Beast Wars, and other new stuff that will be stolen by bots before it even goes online. Or even if you get to get a, a pre-order, it will get canceled, which happened with me with the G.I. Joe Fangs. Wait, Alex yeah. said Biff would be buying so much Valiant and Image. And, and, and cards and, like, uh... <laughs> Fleer and Tops cards. <laughs> Andrew was asking hear? if we got our hands on any of the new NECA Defenders of the Earth figures. We did not. Nope. We're not really going hard on new stuff right now. No, not while we're um, shut. It doesn't make any it sense. It doesn't make any sense because we the only, can't... The only place we could uh, sell it is online, and it really doesn't make any sense to sell There's new no stuff margin, online. There's no margin, profit margin online. So yeah. the only time we stock up on new NECA and, and Mezco and that kind of stuff is when we're open. And we will, when, once we're open, have all yeah. that stuff, but... So what are we doing with these figures? What's going on with these? Let's they say started. two for five dollars. Maybe we should just honor the original sale price. <laughs> That's pretty funny. No. <laughs> um, I think we're gonna do like five bucks a piece. All right. Yeah. Free shipping. If you only buy one thing, I'm gonna curse you, but I'll ship it anyway. If you only buy one thing, we're gonna deliver it ourselves. No, that's a good promise. No, I'm not driving anywhere weird. No. All, right, All right, five anyway. bucks a piece. You ready? Starting yeah. with this is a good army builder. Endor, is that a rebel soldier? Endor rebel soldier, five bucks. Freeze frame, action slide. Freeze frame! Dun, 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 Selena, you got that? Freeze frame. You want me to write them all whether they get sold or Yes, absolutely. Okay. Or again, you then? can hand it over here and I'll do it. It's not a big no, deal. say it again. Endor rebel soldier, five bucks. Kenner's re-releasing the freaking Ecto-1. I'm, I'm, you know, I love seeing the stuff on shelves, but it also annoys me as well. Next up, we've got Obi Wan Ben Obi -Wan Kenobi. Obi Wan Ben Kenobi, five dollars with the freeze five frame. Five bucks. So these are the later issues with the freeze frame. Um, with the, you know what they're called, you know what are they called? Uh, that's another Endor Rebel soldier. All right, two of them. Army build them. Five bucks. I don't want to go faster than a Kermit can write. Harold is claiming a rebel. rebel. Probably the first one. Thank you, Harold. Who is next? Lando as a skiff guard. Skiff guard Lando Calrissian with the freeze frame. Five bucks. <laughs> freeze frame. Yeah, well, it is Mattel, but they do the Kenner logo thing, don't they? Another Endor Rebel Another, soldier. Another. <laughs> you can have a whole army going on yourselves. <laughs> and last but not least in this, this run, we've got Lando... In his general gear. So that would be Lando in his general Which gear. Which the only other version is the expensive Power of the Force. That's not the only one. You skipped Luke in the Stormtrooper outfit. I don't even see him here. Oh, shit, I did. And last but not least, Luke in his Stormtrooper outfit. All right, we got some claims here. Uh, let me scroll back. Selena, are you ready? I'm ready. Uh, Obi-Wan was claimed by Christian Binninger. Who Kristen. still has twelve dollars store credit, Kristen? I did not forget about that. They they overpaid us one time for Barger Town and ran away and wouldn't take their change. I didn't forget, Kristen. You still have twelve dollars store credit. Um, which Tara? Lando? Tara claimed POTF Lando. Uh, there were two, which so I'm Lando? not sure which one she's referring to. She probably, I think she. She means, probably means Skiff Guard. No, she said POTF. I think she means the the uh, general. Tara, let us know if you mean Skiff or General. Um, okay, Harold, you know, are you claiming more many, Rebel Soldiers? Yeah. Tara claimed Luke. That's easy. Tara got Luke, yep. and that's Stormtrooper Luke. So Tara Harold claimed two Rebel Soldiers. He said both, so I did. Okay, oh, but okay. he claimed the first one as well, so he it's did. a total of three? No, he has no, two. No, let's just say two. Harold, there are three if you want three. And sorry. So that's out there. General, that's what I thought you meant. Power of Sir, Sir Tara wants General Lando. Got it. And Jason Harold? Weber, whoa, Jay, no vintage Star Wars today. <laughs> Jay's sitting here being like, come on, X Wings. Uh, Hal, there is one Rebel soldier left up here on And General one. Lando is left as well. I mean, not General, General. Uh, Skiff Guard Lando yeah. is left as well. Oh, Jason's dad. That's awesome. Jenna is Jason's daughter. I mean, daughter. <laughs> Jason is Jenna's dad. That's just me being tired. 
Um, Hal, just one more, just just to give you one more heads up, there is still one more rebel soldier. Um, all right, let's do some more. Then. All right, let's hit all three. Oh, all right. Rock better. and roll. All right, let's motor through some more. I'm Tom Dolgus is watching. The Jersey General in the house. Spring is coming. Oh, not Dolgus. No, I, I'm yeah, thinking yeah, Tom. yeah. You're Man, all over the place. Today. You should just not talk. It's fine. <laughs> Tommy Dolgus is our, our man. Just hold Tucker up. He's, he's cute. He'll make a portrait. Oh, Misa. Oh, Misa. Misa. Jaw Jaw Beats. This is episode one, Selena. Red card, episode Jesus, one. It? Dude, doing vintage Star Wars like this is not the way to do it. No, man. We're blowing out when these we, $5 cards. When we go to reopen again, the vintage Star Wars case will be full. I've got another General Lando. Do we? Yeah. Oh, somebody actually tried to claim it again, so we'll, we'll, I'll give him oh. a second shot. Did we? Yeah. I didn't see that, Justin. So I did, but I didn't remember who it was. See, I, 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 just scroll back. I just No, I, I saw it too. I just scrolled back. It might have been Jack. It. No, it was Luke. I'm sorry. It, it, it was two claims. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know I saw two claims or something. Uh, uh, Selena, Alicia has claimed Jar Jar. Will they be, well, some of it will be for sale. Depends on what it is. We'll see when we reopen. Misa. All right. Um. Hmm. Fun. Well, there's Star Trek in here, too. Ooh, wow. Oh, that's a good one. R2-D2. R2-D2. I think he's got the sensor scope. Let me just... Yep, spring-loaded pop-up scanner. So he is the R2 with a pop-up scanner. Five bucks. And again, these are all five bucks, folks. So just, it's a free-for-all. Just do claim as you see fit as you go along. As one does. This looks a little better than the other one. Yeah, this is a little better than the other one. Should ones. I put it aside? Yeah, I would. All right. We're sticking with the five dollars right now. Andrea Levine, R two. Got it. Jason was hot on our heels. Man, so R two is popular. Someone else claimed a Luke earlier. Uh, Do we want to throw that up there and give them first first? I will pick? give the person who claimed Luke first dibs. All right. So Alicia claimed Jar Jar. Did we get that? We did. We did. And who you got R two. Um, somebody Luke tried to get R2. Luke. Somebody was second on Luke. Andrea Jack, R2. Jack, he's a Lego maniac. Jack Vanderbeck, do you want... Um, we have a second Stormtrooper Luke. In nice shape. Nice card. Do you want Jack it? gets first... Uh, you, get, you get to say... Pick, uh, pick, or, pick or pass, pick Jack. Or pass. Because you claimed... Uh, you claim claimed, or claim. You claimed back there. I will take Luke. What Luke is it? Uh, Stormtrooper Luke? It, it is a second. He will yes. take Luke. And he will take it. That is yep. for Jack V. Uh, Kevin begrudgingly let go of his Playmate stuff. So listen, the Playmate Star Trek collection is is an underappreciated, amazing toy line. I um, love the sculpts. They're cartoony, I'm glad but I, I love got them. Into it. This is going to go immediately. It is. That's why I'm kind of waiting one second. I just want to make sure I got all the Star Wars before I move on. There's not as much in this box as we thought. Okay. That's weird. Okay, yeah, we'll put that up. For what? Actually, I'm going to put it to the side because I think Newt is doing a uh, episode one uh, hack the movies and they wanted to borrow some episode one stuff. Uh, we'll put that to the Is that open? No, just put that to the side. It's a good vehicle. Does the Jake Lloyd come with his mugshot? <laughs> wow. Maybe it does. Um, claim Lando Freeze. So that's going to be the Lando you're claiming is going to be. Uh, Started this one. General uh, Lando. No, there's two Landos on the table. Robert, General Lando <laughs> or Skiff Guard Lando? Are We've they both freeze frames? The two. Yeah, they're both they freeze. Are both freeze frames. Although so, honestly, you're not seeing double. I think uh, that's a lot of Billy D. Williams. I think right Tara there. already claimed one of them, and Tara and Robert are a, a pair. So perhaps he would want the one that she didn't already claim. Oh. Oh wait. Oh no, they're both free. They're both freeze frame. Okay. <laughs> Tara claims General Lando. Okay, so it might be the other one. All right, that's it for Star Wars. Wow. Unless we're doing Avon, what the heck? Yeah, there's some weird stuff in these boxes. Jedi Knight's metal card set. Ooh. I'm not in the mood to open them and look at them. Honestly. I have an idea. So. Lay it on me. As soon as we clear the table of this stuff, I have another box of this. You do? Yes, it's it's Farpoint stuff. We'll just draw a line on the list, and then we'll start far. Oh, because this is all a different thing. Yes. That we haven't been denoting on there at all. It's okay. It's all the same thing. Was the NASCAR... Yep. It, yep. Okay. All the same if person. not, we can just draw lines. It's not mixed up. No, yep. I got it's it. It's all good. Are we doing claiming or not? Tara already claimed general. Robert wants this, the uh, skiff guard. All right. Skiff guard. All right. Lando. Going to Robert. Slash Tara. Tucker, i got to put you down. 
I mean, I know you love Are you getting up? Actually, gonna get up. Yeah, because I know where the box is. Okay. <laughs> I talk to you. Prepare for some disruption. Andrea is claiming Luke. Bespin Luke. That is Bespin That's Luke. That's a good deal for That is a boss. great Luke. Yeah, yeah, it's a good Luke. Andrea, that is cool. Are you giving me a book goodbye? Yep. So we're not doing the Playmates? Uh, not yet, because I think we have a bunch of them. Okay. Oh, I can go find them. I think I know where they are. I absolutely so I'll go get some more Playmates Star Trek and some I Star Wars. adore the fact that we are just ripping. Barter Town is very um, avant-garde this week. Robert says um, thanks for making the collection. Robert, I recognize your name because it's on the PayPal account that Tara uses to pay every week. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker's very confused. He's like, Tucker what's happening? Very confused. Right. He's got some concerns about this format. Oh, that's a lot of Star um, Trek there. Alicia is claiming Anakin. I didn't even realize there was an Anakin here. That's I didn't either. Episode one, baby Anakin with his little robe. I'll try spinning. I do not want to try spinning. That's Come here, Tucker. Trick. We can, try spinning. we can try spinning. This is hilarious. He's like behind the table, like moving things. Can you guys see this? Um, My notebook so cool is left. Into the picture, sorry. So the only guy left here is Freeze Frame Lando in his general gear. Uh, five bucks. Y'all know you want him. Bartertown Freestyle Jazz Festival. Yes, that is exactly what we've got going on here this week. Featuring Tucker. Featuring Tucker. You got this? Oh, look, Barnabas is right back there. I'm pointing the wrong way. He's right here. Isn't he cute? How old is Tucker? Tucker is six years old. Tucker is six? Yeah, he's a grown he man. Look six. Yeah. He looks tiny. Anybody is it? Ask, ask if they want to do some Star Trek. Is this more Perry? Yes. All right. Who wants to see Star Trek? You guys Earl Perry Penedianco. You, 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 you got to claim on the last Earl Lando. Perry. All right. Earl is taking the last Lando. And I am, I've got a nice here, full full range of pistols here. I got one of the best action figures ever made. Oh, let me see. Shmi. Shmi is four bucks. Let me see her. Shmi is not four bucks. I'm not shipping Shmi for four bucks. If somebody else already, what do you know? Shmi is four bucks, not five bucks, but I'm not shipping her by herself. Look at me for a minute. My name is Shmi, S-H-M-I. Only if it's an even number movie. So Alex said we should only do Star Trek if it's from an even numbered movie. Uh, Robert said stay with Star Wars. Matthew said Trek me. Casper <laughs> said do all of the stars. I like that. <laughs> I like what Casper said. And Alicia right, so is now, claiming Shmi. For now, let's motor through the playmates. And that's four bucks. Four bucks on the Shmi, which sounds like something like that gets stuck on your shoe. It sounds like the Shmoo. Yeah, it sounds like like the generic, you know, store brand version of a shmoo. <laughs> I got some shmi stuck on my shoe um, when I went outside. Some earlier. shmi on your shmoo? I got some shmi on my shmoo. Something's dangerous. Where's my dog? Your dog is in my lap. Oh, okay. Getting dog hair all over me. Kevin did so keep his original eat. series stuff. I See, can't I would have kept my fruit PNG snacks. Stuff. I have fruit snacks here, and I can't eat them with the dog hair because I'm going to get dog hair in my fruit snacks. I want to talk about, here, you can start pulling up. We got a whole box of Playmates TNG. And this is going to be a good conversation. Does she need to draw a line? No, it's this is still Perry. We're not drawing the line. This is all still Mr. Man, this stuff is just like unfiltered. This is like the, the real deal here. It's got to be cleaned and stuff. This, this be wiped is not, off. so this is pure. This is, yes, it has this to be is like to process. These are toys in their purest form, folks. You're seeing behind the curtain of a toy store that doesn't have time Nick, to actually do toy Nick, stuff. Uh, so what we're doing right now, we're going to do some Star Trek, but... The boxes aren't great, so they're, I'm going to price them and consider them loose complete. Um, Star Wars loose figures right now? No, not no, because I didn't get a chance to process them. That's just what that comes down to. <laughs> I am just, like, vomiting on myself. What do? Why? Um, Selena, I'll read you the names, I guess, as we go. Why are you vomiting you, yourself? Do you, are you want me? Are you good? You can tell me a name. Okay. This is Dr. Bashir. Whichever you've written, you can tell me the next one. Okay. This is the Traveler. He likes to come and take little boys is it away. Like what like what the Traveler is his name. This is gonna be fun. This is amazing. Are you sure you don't want to just hand me the notebook and let me do this? No. Yeah. Okay. This is DS9, Dr. Bashir. That might be important to note. Which would be why I wrote it down. This is just regular Star Trek. I don't know if this is for but a it living, also but says get the hang next generation Mark, here, so I'm Mark got his TNG Playmates first set good. at It's a Toy Show. That's actually what I can't I wait to have the toy show again. Oh man, I miss the toy um, show. So this is Deep Space Nine, Vedic Burrell. He's actually cool, and he might be cool. I hope Matt's watching. He's probably had some of these people on his show. Matt is absolutely watching and said, "Please give us Playmates." 
I'm going to go to camera two. Maybe that'll make it slanted. If I go to camera two, you can actually look at camera two to figure out what we're selling. So if you guys don't know, um, Matt Kaplowitz uh, does a podcast or vidcast. Um, you can move this box if it's bothering you, Selena. Uh, where he he <laughs> focuses on Star Trek, uh, people who have been in on Star Trek, different Star Trek shows. What the show called again? I want to say Nerd News Today, but that's his other thing. The Star Trek thing. Oh my god, I watch it all the time. Um, I'm sorry, what are we blanky. talking about? Matt's Star Trek interview. Haley Fuse is, is, is Harry's thing. Yes. Matt, what is, it, what is it called again? I want to plug it, but I totally forget. Alright, this one is Tuvok from Voyager. Casper, those TOS turtles are awesome. It's a great set. And that one is DS9. Justin, I'm going to give you the dog back because I can't do this. I'll take the dog. Dog. If you're gonna be here, dog, you have to look at the camera. <laughs> oh God! Oh look, he's Sorry, peeking around the toys. It's so cute. All right, so we have got just to recap. How what did, we haven't set a price on these? We've not. Matt interviewed one of the sculptors of the Trek. Trek Untold. That's what it's. That's right. And I'm about to interview one of the other yeah. main sculptors. Cool. Casper, I agree with you entirely. They totally dropped the ball with the Traveler. I think he was supposed to come back, and he, like, never did. <laughs> he just came and took Wesley and was like, all right, peace. He was in other episodes, but that's basically what he did, yeah. Um, okay, uh, price, are we pricing these all at one price? Yeah. And what is that price? Five dollars. Okay. Uh, yeah, man, green dots. Uh, okay. All right. Hopefully you guys buy multiples, because if I have to ship one of these, I'm going to be really pissed. We've got Tuvok from Voyager. We have got uh, Jadzia Dax from DS9. Hell She's awesome. Yeah. She's got a $10 price tag on her. That's crazy. Oh, well. Um, we've got Dr. Julian Bashir, Siddig El Fadil in the flesh right there uh, from DS9. We've got the Traveler from S the Star Jack Trek line. Bashir. Matt claimed... I'm just gonna go down the list all right. and get all everybody's claims. All right, hold on, guys. Let us catch up here. Yeah, you're going. They're going too fast. Okay, all right, so Selena, you ready? Yeah, Matt right. claimed Bashir. Got it. Matt claimed Vedic, Bartel, and Tuvok. Got it. And that was Matthew K. So Wesley did come back for notices, and they never said, "Oh, Wesley, it's so good to see you after all your time traveling." They just kind of 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 of, of, of uh, ignored it. Jack claimed Jadzia. Jack claimed Jadzia Dax. Price of the uniform color red shirts are for haha. <laughs> Did somebody claim the Traveler? Uh, yeah, looks like Nick Almo claimed the Traveler. I'm dropping my easels everywhere. Nick, I know what you meant by clean. Um, we will clean him, but I know you meant clean him. <laughs> well, no, for $5, I can't know exactly what he is. If I have to see Wesley in the right? movie, I can't remember. Which one? And then none of them have any idea where he. Yeah, I, I guess it's just you know stuff that happened in the background. He came back. How misty is Tuvok in the box? If he is misty, I will pass him. I on have no else. idea what that means. He means is the inside of the card uh, uh, cloudy at all? Cloudy. I have no idea. I did not look. Let's see. Well, I threw him in a tub. I'll take the dog if you want. Come here, Tucker. Come be off camera. Know. Alright. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, there's my good boy. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, come on, big boy. Oh, yes, there's Tucky. Okay, who else we got? Um, the Traveler. Is that in the second Traveler? Is that the same Traveler? This is that the got same claimed? Traveler that got claimed by Nick, Okay. I do believe. Yes. Oh, so... Is he means his head. See oh. how... It, yeah. You want to pass on Tuvok, that's fine. Oh, wow. He's got... So Han Solo 12-back does that. Wow. What? Let me see. The head gets a little uh, chalky. It's, yeah. Now, if you take it out and wipe it off, it wipes right off. But Mark said that if he so passes, he will claim. All right. Mark, are you sure? He definitely does have, like, a frosty head. I've never noticed that before. It's That's a, that, so head. famously, wow. 12 back Han Solo does that. Wow. All Which right, is so, why it's hard to get. So I think we're crossing off Matt from Tuvok and uh, putting Mark Akero onto Tuvok. So I'll throw him back in. Is camera 2 look okay? Camera 2 looks good. Okay. Tara says that she wants to claim Holden Tucker. Actually, um, that would be real helpful right now. because he's. <laughs> all right, so it looks like we have Odo from DS9. Um, he comes, he doesn't come with a bucket. He should. <laughs> well, 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 I didn't say it yet, Matt. Let's oh, slow so down wait, here. Wait, wait, You're wait, just wait. Pretty... Where, 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 are we throwing them up there or are we going through the list? Uh, I'm going through the list. So first I'm going to say Odo five bucks. 
Troy from Generations. Is that Troy? Yes. Five bucks. So we're putting them up, but we're doing it proper. Jake Sisko, everybody's favorite Jake tween. Jake Sisko, five bucks. <laughs> DS9, Jake Sisko, five bucks. Uh, I can't read it. I it's can't Commander Sela. Oh, okay. So um, she didn't die in the, in, uh, in the evil skin, the, the skin of evil. Sela. S-E-L-A. Commander Sela. From what series? Which from uh, Next Generation. It's it's uh, what's her name came back as her evil. Oh, Tasha Yar came back as her own evil self. And last but not least, up here we have uh, fully functional and anatomically correct. I said okay, Dad. <laughs> That's right, kid. TNG data also five bucks. All right, Mark. Mike, Mark is opening, so he's good with with taking that. All right. Let the feeding frenzy begin. All right. Well, it already began. We're just gonna go back now. All right. So uh, Andrea claimed Odo. Twice. <laughs> well, she's not getting it shipped once. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, my whole pile. Nick Almo claimed Troy. But he spelled Troy wrong, but I know who he meant. Matt said, okay, Dad, because he's mad at me now. <laughs> I don't even know that. Um, very cool. Mark claimed Data, as did Dina, as did Mike Almo. Everybody wanted Data. Data is hot. Well, he is... Fully functional and anatomically correct. I hope there's no doubles because I'm not like we're not specifying like which well, series. So far, so good. Okay, I'm jotting down what series. That's why I keep asking you that. Well, no, I mean like that's series seven. Oh, okay. That's I you meant yeah. which show. No. Okay, so who do we have left? We have Cisco and uh, Sila. Cisco and Ebert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm you're hilarious. funny. I'm so funny. All right, it looks like we're getting out of the Playmates regular card. <laughs> Nick said he just got LASIK and shouldn't be looking at his phone. <laughs> we, you cannot blame going blind on us. Nick, you've got to bring us up on a big screen TV. All right, so next we have... God, this has a $25 price tag on it. I feel sick. Next we have... Um, from Voyager, we have Ensign Harry Kim. Okay. okay. Ensign Kim from Voyager. Uh, Casper <laughs> said the fun fact, fun data fact, TNG forever changed how we say the word data... Um, Casper, I always said data like data, but F. Dr. Pulaski. Dude, Pulaski refused. Pulaski's to call garbage. Him. I'm sorry. Pulaski's human garbage, and I do not. Season I can't, two, right? I can't stand her. Pulaski is human garbage. Oh. Um, Andrea would like to claim Harry. All right. And some Harry Kim. Um, Ops. Who else we have? Oh, uh, what's her name? Kira. Uh, Kira. Kira, Kira Nerese. Major Kira Nerese from Star Trek DS9. Could you spell it for me, could you? Uh, K I R A. K-I-R-A is fine. Okay. We don't need Five bucks for part. Kira. And just to recap, we still have Sela, who is falling off of her easel. You gotta have Sela. Got to be. Anya. And. Pulaski was better than TOS. I didn't know she played anybody in the original series. She played a nurse. I don't think she played uh, Pulaski. The whole I think data she was just name story comes from a video I shot. Oh. Ah. Interesting. Andrea is claiming Kira. All right. Just so, just so you guys know, a lot of these cards and bubbles are beat. You know, these are five dollar toys. You know, yeah. this is what you they're, find at a yard sale or something. Dada. Now it's data. I never. Da, heard, data. I never heard it pronounced like that in my life. Dada. Never what, in my data? life. Dada. I never heard data pronounced like data in my life. I, I've data. heard it. I just never used it that way. Yeah, I, I've heard it. Do you have the data? Data. data. Have you ever said database? Data. Yeah, database. It's, yeah. it's oh, something, something. It's, it's, it's like GIF. It's, it's an accepted alternate. Oh, is it one of those words? Like a primary. GIF GIF? Yes. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to leave these two up here. We're going to start with the slightly I'm better stuff. I'm going over stuff. the data. Yeah, I've heard data before, definitely. Yeah. Just, I'm going to use the better stuff. Alright. This stuff, maybe, I mean, I don't know if you want to put it on the Yeah, was this, is this a better it's stuff? Slightly different price point, maybe? It, maybe a slightly different price point? Just because the cards are nicer. Yes, and these are better. going to be a better price point. Alright. Not a much better price point. Not much better price point. But a little bit better. Yep. We're going to, uh, listen, they're going to go up. It's going up to $6. Yeah, card. guys, I know if you, you want to leave I, yeah, now, you it's better, fine. You, you better wait to get your stimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the last one. They better send me this one. Really? Yeah, never showed up. Why? Uh, obviously, I don't know. Where That's horrifying. It. It's annoying. All right. First of all, we've got a Star Trek throwback Captain Sisko in the old TOS outfit. Now, these cards are in much better shape. These, these cards display are in much better. much better shape. I, they display the other ones better. I was considering, you know, loose, complete because the cards, but these oh, are... Oh, we actually have two of him. Two we've got Siscos? Two, we've got two of the Sisko. we got double Sisko. we got double amazing. Sisko. Double Sisko. Chikowski. And that is six bucks on these bad boys. Claimed one. We've got two of them. we got two. 
So. Um, Selena, I would call this. I don't know what I would call this. Just it's keep like, it separate. What's that for right there? It till... says Warp Factor Series. Yeah, Warp Factor Cisco. So call this Warp Factor Cisco, I guess. Warp Factor you. <laughs> We've got Captain Koloff is next. Matt claimed the other Cisco. Warp Factor you. Say it again. Engage. Say it again. So we loved our wedding, and it was basically our dream wedding. There was one thing missing from our dream wedding. Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart officiating. And actually, how cool is it that Patrick Stewart is in our a toy store near you? Hey, our toy store near you. Our toy store near you is now on YouTube. (laughs) Our our episode. If you guys haven't seen it, don't have Amazon Prime. You can go on YouTube now. We want the most views. We're getting close. We want the most views. Listen, we love the Kokomos. And the, uh, Speak for yourself. Um, um, we love the, Matthew um, claimed Cola, Captain Koloff. the Chicago, uh, kibitz, what do they call what? The Chicago people. The Chicago ma- Toy Mafia? No, the, 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 the people with like, the rec- they have like a record store. Did we get and, both uh, Cisco's claims? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. We love the Super 7s. We love them all. But we want the most views. Because we're Farpoint and we are the most. This this brought to you by uh, Lou Jimmy Vancouver. <laughs> um, all right, next up we have Constable Constable Odo in his uh, again at that throwback style outfit. Somebody's Selena, asking about triples. That's a warp series. That is a warp series. Warp factor. I can't say it. You can I say should. warp factor F U. Warp factor F U. If you guys have never watched Happy in Paraguay. After this, please go on YouTube and just search Happy in Paraguay, and you'll thank me. Is there another Odo? There is another Odo. And Andrea has just claimed Warp Factor Series 1, Constable Odo. No, we know these are $6, right? And these are $6, just to recap. Oh, Jadzia in a skirt. Jadzia. Look at Tucky. He's going absolutely crazy. Jadzia in a skirt. Odo? Six bucks. That was the second Odo, but that's because we had an Odo before. There wasn't okay. a second Yes, this was Warp either. Factor Odo, not yes. uh, yeah. v- v- Voyager okay. I thought there were two of these Odos. <laughs> nope. Okay. Jack watched it three times on Prime. He tells everybody, "Thank you, guys. Everybody, share our, our, our." Um, we should put a link to it. We should. Okay, which one's this? This is Seska as a Cardassian, advisor to the Kazon Nistrim. I'm not writing all that. From Star Trek Voyager. Just Seska is good. Andrew claimed Jadzia Dax. I I'd, I'd like to be her parasite, or what's it called? Her. Uh, her shut up. What is the thing she? Her shut up. Uh, not a parasite. <laughs> Her triple pose thing. No, you know she's 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 uh, she has a organism that lives through her symbiote. She, yeah, it's basically. Andrea yeah. has claimed Seska. And I you I got that Andrew claimed Jadzia. And Andrew Warp Factor C Jadzia has claimed Warp Factor Jadzia. I got that. Is my chat broken? I'm not seeing the claims. Some of these guys. Uh, are Casper, I don't know, man. We're seeing what you're saying. We're seeing a. This is cool. Kolo, I don't know if Koloth was a Klingon captain in TOS. I'm this not is sure. Warp Factor 2. Symbian. Cisco as a Klingon. Trill. That's cool. Yeah, she was a trill. Cisco as a Klingon. Is that is really episode? cool. Does that happen then? I would assume so since it's happening. Um, is it just me or are these weirdly bigger? They're definitely heavier. They come with, uh, yes, he actually, because they come with, looks like, with uh, like a part or a piece. They come with a part. Okay. You know what I mean? Like he comes with a. Uh, Look how big that is. He comes with like a. It's probably. I wonder if it's like a Boba figure or something. Galactic gear can all he comes with. Of course. Um, Matthew K is claiming Cisco as a Klingon. Oh, your girlfriend is here. Check her out. Why is she my girlfriend? Because she's a sex fiend. I don't know quite if she's a sex fiend, Penelope. That's Maybe literally what she does. It's like her fiend. It's not to interrupt yeah. this critically important conversation or anything, but this, um. The Dr. Bashir, that's a fresh one you just put up? Yep, that's a Warp Factor Series 1 Dr. Bashir. Matthew owns the original mold and resin hard copy for that Cisco. That is freaking awesome. Matt, you absolutely have to send us a picture of all Kapla, of them together. Yeah. my friend. That is that freaking is really awesome. Cool. Now I need to... We never finished DS9. I know... <gasps> Look! I am not a merry man. I am not selling this. No, we'll I want to see. Man, you freaked out over that. <laughs> Hello, I want to see. It's a fistful of data. Oh, so that's not the first. Tucker, you're ripping my pants. You're ripping my pants. It's from the episode of Fistful of Data. 
That's I'm less amazing. concerned about your pants than I'm about this toy. <laughs> Andrew was claiming Bashir. Mark, uh, modern Seven of Nine from Picard. I am. I was not into Seven of Nine in Voyager. That is Andrew C. Just to be clear. She was just too, like, not my type. But now, with the hair down and the badassness. Are we going to sell this? we got to look it up. No, let's hold on to it. I mean, I don't really want to keep it. Right away. All right, well, I'll chill out. But, like. All right. Oh, my God, it's amazing. So, who's claiming it? stuff, dude? Can we chill out? I don't have a claims. Justin, claims we're on top of the claims. You need to chill out. <laughs> Andrew claimed this year we got that? No, we, we didn't. Yes, we did. We Veronica that. wants to see. That's why Share we're talking. With the see? That's see? You're, right. we're, we're on top of it. What, what do you, I didn't really... Listen, I've known you for a long time. Is Fistful of Data is one of your favorite episodes? It's just so close to the Old West. I thought it was going to be uh, the Robin Hood episode. And it's all the Data. Do you remember when he's dressed up as a lady? And then he's the sheriff like there, this? It's all Data. It, that's why it's is. called a Fistful of Data. Yeah. I need to put a price on this. You should look it up real quick. All right, just to recap what we have here. We still have Sela. She's five bucks. We have got Jake Sisko. No one wants Jake Sisko for $5. I'm not surprised on that one. Um, we have another Constable Odo, Warp Series 1, Warp Factor Series 1. He is six bucks. We, that is the second of these that we have. We have another He's one. He's the second Warp Factor? He's the second Warp Factor 1 Odo. Yes, we have two okay. of them. Um, and... Let's not forget about Trelane. Trelane is here, everyone. Who's he, Trelane? he reminds me of Kivas Fajo. He's sort of the Kivas Fajo of TOS. If that makes any sense. And last but not least, in our Playmates run, we have got this thing. We're looking up a price for it. It is a fistful of datas. Oh, what's, a, what's a box condition? Three pack. It's beautiful. Oh, really? It really is, I think. It's got a, a little bit of a bubble wibble at the top here, but other than that, I think it's really nice. It needs to be wiped off, but it's it's very clean and it's sealed. Kevin Jewell has claimed Trelane. Uh, Fistful of Data is 25 bucks. And the Fistful of Data's three pack that I was very tempted to embezzle is 25 bucks. Tucker, you're so cute, but you're so obnoxious. <laughs> um, Welcome to Chihuahua. So this Warp Factor series, um, she's cool. Ilya, yeah. Uh, the, the, oh, so dang. she's back down to five bucks. She's back down to five bucks. Stick yeah. her on the. Uh... She, the her bubble's cracked. Ilya probe is five bucks because her bubble is cracked, but she will display. I only want to go where no Absolutely. man has gone before, and I don't think that she is that. So that's rude. It is uh, rude. Uh, Eric, that's messed up. Eric P has claimed the uh, Old West data pack. It was twenty-five. Twenty-five buckaroos on that bad boy. All right, we got two. Chief O'Brien's. It's going to be six bucks. Uh, so oh, this is cool. You got to look this one up. Hold on, too. Selena. So it's uh, Chief O'Brien, and he comes with uh, Galactic Gear. Galactic Gear, Chief O'Brien. He's like a bigger size than the rest. Um, I like to call Chief O'Brien. Uh, what's what's his wife's name? Here, talk. Keiko. Keiko. What's the kid's name? Molly. Really? I don't remember that. Very good. I cannot believe so I just go, pulled go, that go, out of well, my ass. Well, here's the thing. I want to talk about Penelope <laughs> real quick. Go to camera you one. You want to talk about Penelope real quick, yeah. okay? Uh, Andrea claimed O'Brien. We have two of those O'Briens. We have two O'Briens. You, you can throw that one behind you. It's in a little bit better shape, and this one is still... So, the day I realized I really loved Penelope... It was the day that he met me. Um, yes. So, <laughs> you know, I, I, I fell in love with... I fell in lust with her immediately. Rude. I didn't even see yeah. her. In person. Yeah, Justin did a little weird stalking of me before we met. Creepy. No, that's not... That sounds really bad. Uh, my friend met her who I worked with, and we worked... And she had come into the store where we worked, and he showed me her. He was like, you would love this girl. He on, showed me her on, on, the, on, on the their security, security camera. And I was like, wow, yeah. So I wasn't, like, stalking her, you know, anything like that. I saw her on a security camera before I ever saw her. He saw me on a security camera... But it wasn't stalking or being weird. So we hit it off when she came in the next time. <laughs> and uh, and I knew I liked her, and we started dating, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't really know I truly, she was meant There's for so me. so much more to the story than that. There is. <laughs> but I didn't realize she was truly meant for me I'm until one day we were on our way back from New York. The actor who played Molly O'Brien was in an episode of Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> the day I realized that Penelope was no. there, I watched Chief O'Brien try to kill so himself. So we were on our, our way back... All right, uh, Carl, Carl is claiming Lilla and, and Sela. Sela. Lilla, who is Lilla? Oh, Ilya. Yeah, her, Ilya. Carl so, Herard so, is um, getting uh, Ilya probe and also Sela. We were on our way back driving from New York, and we were just talking. It was like late, and uh, we were just talking to keep ourselves awake. And we we're talking about TNJ and our love for TNJ. 
I remember saying, man, you know, uh, they only ever mentioned it maybe in one or two episodes. Um, and it was when Jordy was like, had the holodeck program, he was talking to the designer. Dr. The, Leia Brahms. Yes. Uh, and, uh, Somebody's trying to claim Odo again. I think Odo's gone. Nope, there's one left. No, there's another oh. Odo. Andrew, Andrew C. Very good. Has got Constable Odo number two. So real quick before we move more toys up, and I said, I forget the name of the place. You, I don't think you said you forget. I think that, like, you well, were I was like, like, what was the what name was the of name? the place? Oh, I don't, I can't, gosh, it was It's crazy. a real place uh, on, like, Mars where the shipyards were. And she sat there, and, like, her brow furrowed. And I was, it was completely gone for me, because I had seen... Like I said, it's 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 maybe mentioned in two episodes, certainly one episode, and it's just a you know it's kind of a throwaway, and it wasn't it was before the internet and knowledge was all out there. You had to watch the show a bunch of times to know it. It was you had to read Wikipedia. There was no Wikipedia at the time. The amazing Wikipedia at the time. Well, but I not wasn't, that we were watching I the reading Star Trek. I didn't have a phone. So her brow furrows, and she looks at me, and she says, "Utopia Planitia," and I was like, "Man, she's such a great, knowledgeable nerd, and who retained." Such an amazing tidbit of Star Trek minutia knowledge. Yes, Kevin. And from the moment she said Utopia Planitia, I knew that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. If only I had known. I should have just said something else and it would have all been over. Anyway. Anyway, did you look up the three pack? It's I the really not. fancy one. So, um, we, we almost named Farpoint like Utopia Planitia Toys because so of that. So, we, for a while there, we were Ambrosia Path Toys for like a minute. A minute. And then we realized that, that sounded like we like hand whittled. Do you want to tell like, the story of Ambrosia Path? No. Um, it's a different kind of toy. It story. sounds like Doug and Linda. Or not Doug and Linda. What, what, are the, the, what are the people that. Melissa and Doug. Yeah, it sounds like handmade wooden toys like we carve ourselves like out of little. So, this is really cool. I need to read it. Please. It's the 1701 collection. Okay. Thank you. So, this is a really cool three pack. If I recall correctly, they had never released Barkley. Or they had never released Yar. I can't remember. At any rate, when they released this pack, Howlin' Mad Barkley. It was super hard to get. And everybody was furious because it had rare figures that people wanted. Um, Mark, we haven't set a price yet, so now it's five hundred dollars. <laughs> it's seventeen oh one hundred dollars. All figures equipped with the original Galactic Gear. I forget the deal with this. Like, or no, these three were available in limited quantities, and then they re-released them. <laughs> they re-released them in this pack. Um, it's crazy. It's cool. Mark, get ready. Mark, get ready. I'm going to say the price. Get ready. $20. 20 20 20 Turn down your blowing there. 20 bucks on this bad boy for anyone who wants it. Mark, my finger is slippy. So he had it like ready to he go. Like, mm. Ready. Now he's typing. Finger. Oh, Dina got it though. Oh, <laughs> he's Sorry, Mark. Dina got it, not you. <laughs> All right, that is it for that. 1701. Oh, my God. It began with a bloody ass. Um, what else are we selling today? Because that's it. Low-key fact about me, I'm a Barkley fan. I was so happy to see his character in Voyager. It's kind of cool that they brought him into Voyager. And he, he played an important part. Like, he was trying to figure out how to get them closer or something. Barkley was on Voyager? Yeah. What? Why? He was, because they were communicating with him. To, uh, he had, like... I only saw a couple episodes. Oh, wait. Was it the episode... Wait. Was it like a crossover with the episode where he had like the crazy brain power and could go anywhere? I don't think it was a, a crossover to that. Remember that when he got all smart, though? Yeah. Um, Barkley was great in, uh, in Barclay TNG. Was, Barkley was great Dude, in Dude, it's Howlin' Man Murdoch. Yes. Yeah. Is that all the toys? That is all of the toys except... Um, yeah, that is all the toys. Anybody want to look at some carded, I mean not carded, some graded comic books? Yeah, let's go from Playmates and episode one to graded comics. Um, what the heck are these things? Something Jedi Knights. I'm just going to look at this real quick. That set caused the value deflation on Playmates Star Trek. It absolutely did, Mark. I forget the exact story. Either people couldn't get it and they were mad or there were too many and people were mad. All right, real quick. Remember. There's uh, one more Miles O'Brien, six bucks. 
and there's a beautiful card, and he comes with galactic gear. And then there's, uh, if anybody bought <laughs> anything already, we got Jake Cisco here for three bucks. <laughs> but you had to have evil, uh, evil laughing. You had to have already bought something, with Jake yeah. Cisco for three bucks. Yeah. You had to have you already, had to bought, have already something. bought something. These are like weird card sets. I don't. I'm not about it. I don't know. Are you sure? I gotta like look them up and. Can shit. we give something away? Yeah, give away anything you want. Except talk. About it. <laughs> we should do something. We should give something away, or sell something, or talk about it. We can give away Jake. Let's give away Jake. <laughs> Let's give away Jake. Jake and Barkley. Jake oh, not Barkley. Uh, Jake and Chief Chief O'Brien. O'Brien. Tucky, where are you? Tucky's over here trying to get back up here on our on us. I want to see if anybody wants some he's some, a, uh, he's a some Grady Comics. Some Grady Comics. Let's do it up. Let's put some Grady Comics here. You have your price list? Uh, would you, can you understand me, Tucker? You just hear the, the excitement in my voice. Am I just grabbing whatever from here? Yeah, that's a are set, these though. Set? Yes, they are. So. All right. All right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, get draw a line. Here, let's make it look nice. What was that? Jim has claimed both of these. There you go, Mr. Meisenheimer. So Jim purchased a D and D book from us last week. All right. And he asked us in the comments of his of his payment if we would sign it for him. So Jim, that's why I haven't mailed your book yet. Because Justin and I have not signed it yet. Absolutely. <laughs> I brought it in. I went to show it. Uh, the inside, not the cover. Yeah, though, right? yeah. I, it's very like the bad. inside, like like you're giving the book to a friend. You want to write yes. inside of it. I'll do that. I don't want to write on the cover because I'm not famous. Yes. Yeah. Good. No. The ads on the back of the books are neat too. Those some of my favorite stuff. There's always like D and D and. Yeah, Andrew. All of these are slabbed. All all slabbed. That's not gonna. Be a thing that happened. <laughs> A little bit more sideways here. Yeah. This is a set. Sorry. My own. <laughs> I think the you're putting it on a wonky bent easel. You are. Try that one. Thank you. So this is Superman, the Man of Steel, number seventeen and number eighteen. It's a set of two. They do come together. It's going to be first Doomsday. This right? is first Doomsday and first Doomsday cameo. Uh, basically, it's the first appearance of Doomsday, and then his first full. Both nine eights. These are both nine CGC. Eights. It doesn't get better. I mean, there's such a thing as nine nine, but it, they're so insanely rare that it just doesn't happen. Nine eight is the great everybody's after. These are regular CGC blue label nine eights. Uh, for the pair, where we only want to sell them as a set, it's the first uh, dark, uh, not dark side, Dooms- uh, Doomsday. Doomsday. Yeah. Um, the whole Death of Superman arc is is right in here. Uh, two hundred fifty bucks for the pair of them. Two fifty. Put the money in my hand, little man. Yes, um, Jim wants us to sign inside. That is a, f- a first print um, of number eighteen. Oh, I'm Bobby got his first that. comics this week. He got the last Ronin. That last Ronin TNT, TMNT is so popular. They're saying it's it's like I the read best it. TMNT it's stuff written. Yep. Uh, yeah, Andrew. All the comics we're going to be doing right now are slabbed. Here's another. Good one. Um, another nine eight. Super high grade. This is uh, Walking Dead number one, the tenth anniversary yes. issue. It's not the actual number one. It's What's the tenth cool about this is that it's in color. So uh, the original is obviously black white, in right. black and white. This one is in color. Um, uh, this was a. Um, was this twenty five? No, it's fifty bucks. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, this is fifty okay. bucks. It's uh, it's great. Uh, Walking Dead collectible. There's no way you can get a number one right now for any kind of deal, especially a 9.8, because there were so few of them made. So what they did is 10 years later, they did another number one. And uh, that's the actual cover of number one. It's just colored, and that's 50 bucks. It's a great gift for a, you know, a Walking Dead person. George said that Superman Man of Steel number 18 is Amanda's first issue. Oh, the so Scully's, the Scullies do something yeah, very interesting. This is really cool. Go ahead and tell it. Uh, the Scullies give each other comic books. Um, that were released the month of their birth as gifts. Month so, and for year. instance, yeah, month and year. So, for instance, um, George, uh, I think um, Action Comics number one was his month. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. So, you know, say I, I was born in January of '75. Um, Robert, I knew that, I knew if any of these books were going to go, it was going to be the Walking Dead book. I knew uh, it. The Walking Dead books. I was born in January '75, so I, I mean, I don't know what books came out in January '75, but say, uh, you know, Spider-Man 
one twenty two or something like that. That would be my birthday book, which is super cool. It's a great idea. Um, and then you never know. There might be some really classic stuff that lands on your birthday. Aww. Aww. Oh, that's Aww. so cute. You bought it for Tara for her birthday. That's, that's so awesome. cute. I love that. Hi, George. Selena said hi, George. This is one of... So Mike Zack, if you're an 80s comic collector, Mike Zack was the man. He did all kinds of, of Captain America. He did G.I. Joe stuff. The stuff that... You know, I grew up with because it was my era. <laughs> Punisher stuff. Uh, this is a classic Mike Zek cover. Can you go to two on that? Camera two? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, anyway, as you can see, that's Wolverine fighting Captain America. What a cover. It's Captain America annual number eight, I believe. Mm -hmm. Um, it's CGC 8.5, so it's a, it's a, it's a VF, not a high VF, it's not a near mint book. It would have graded higher, but it's priced accordingly, and I think it's only... you have your list? I, I gotta look at it. I gotta look at my list, guys. Tucker is just going crazy. Well, he's under the table. Bossa Nova. Going Bossa Nova. You'd be going a little crazy if someone left you under the table, too. Oh, I gotta look at my list, folks. What else do we have here? I'm going to pull the Supermans. Do you guys remember Amalgam? They're in Philly, right? I'm not sure. The comic what. place? There's a, there's a comic shop called Amalgam in Philly, but other than that, that's all I know. Brain transplants almost every day. Mark did a toy rendition of that cover. So you, what did you do? Like a Marvel Legends Wolverine? Oh, it's, neat. It's, dude, it's one of the best covers. Um, let's see. That was uh, Captain America Annual 885. Um, you know what? You're all friends here. Forty bucks. That's only forty dollars for that for this. For this graded example of a classic Mike Zek. The month of my birthday, Rocket Racer made his first appearance in the Amazing Spider Man. So okay, so you got first Rocket Racer. Freddie Bravo claimed cap. Forty bucks. Thank you, Freddie. Freddie, this is Listen, Look at uh, all the claims uh, I, 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 well, it's forty bucks is a great deal. That's what it costs <laughs> that to get it graded. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I just want to tell you guys, I'm starting you down a dark path. Um, graded comics, the way they display is something very nice and serious. Freddie's first slab. I'm super proud to have <laughs> Freddie. So now you got to get the Marvel Legends. Do what Mark did. Put this on your case. Get a Marvel Legends Wolverine and a Captain America. I'll look and see if I have any and set them up this way. And, dude, that is the way to do a display. Two of the best characters ever for a price that you couldn't buy that book and send it to the CGC to get a slap for that much. So, what else we got? Got a whole pile. All right, any DC fans? Well, we got Identity you... Crisis. This is a retailer variant sketch cover. This is another 9-8. Is, uh, is there any firsts in this? Can you read that? Nope. It is a Diamond Retailer Summit promotional, which means you had to be a comic book store owner who got to go to a Diamond Summit yep. and got this. Frank's awake. Frank, Frank is awake. Frank's also got a pile of CGC books. <laughs> Frank is awake. So that's a Identity Crisis CGC 9-8. It don't get higher. That's a rare sketch cover. 75 bucks. Let's see what else we got. We got two of these bad boys. Great DC cover. It's kind of like it's you know it's funny. It's the Mount Rushmore of DC characters. Oh, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Tucker is so full of dog hair. You're getting it everywhere. He's a dog. It's up my nose. Tiffany is here. Hello, Tiffany. Although she may be saying hi to Frank, which is fine. Okay, so let's do <laughs> so this is Legends of uh, DC. Le this is just called Legends. It's a six-part miniseries, Legends, I number it's, three. It's the first new Suicide Squad? First appearance of the new Suicide Squad. Right, it's we Legends, have two number of them. three. It's a 9.4. We have a 9.4 and a 9.2. This yes. is the first new Suicide Squad. Uh, the 9.4 is 75, <laughs> and the 9.2 is hi, 50. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> I'll be damned, honestly, if I could look at the two of those books and tell you the difference between a 9.2 and a 9.4. There's the 9.2. 
I got the nine. Four, the I'm nine. Put a camera too. Yeah. Just so you can like maybe get a slightly. We say this all the time. You know, grading is very. Uh, there's the nine four, and there's a glare on there. But look, you got Batman, Superman, Flash, and uh, and and Green Giant. Green Giant. Well, it's green. I mean, he has <laughs> hair, which looks weird. He's, green, he's like green. Anyway, it's probably Green Lantern, but I don't know why he looks like that. And then this is a nine two. The nine two's colors are actually sharper. Um, just a great cover though with Mount Rushmore and stuff. So there's uh, the the higher grade one's seventy five, the lower grade one's fifty. You know, Alex said, and 50. you'll never know what CGC saw different unless you want to pay. He's absolutely right. He's absolutely right. Um, unless you get the book graded yourself, at which point you can see the notes like while it's still processing. Yep. Once it it goes out into the world, you need to pay to get the the greater notes on that. Yep. All right, I'm gonna pull Identity Crisis. Looks like Beast Boy. Yeah, but I don't think it is. I mean, it's probably Green Lantern because it's it's like the big four. I don't know why Wonder Woman won't be on there because she's bigger than that. But you got me. I don't know. No idea. Yes, no, Casper confirmed. Burn, Green Giant. Ho ho crisis. ho. It yes, it's some classic John Byrne. Now this is a cover right here. Crisis on Infinite Earths number seven. It's. It's a nine. Spoilers! Six. It's the death Spoilers, of Supergirl. It's the death of Supergirl in quotation marks. So, Crisis on Infinite Earths was, um, you know, they started doing event books in the eighties. I think Marvel Secret Wars kind of started it. Well, this was DC's like classic event. Um, it was a eight or nine parter. I forget how many are, but this is the cover of that run. This is the one everybody wants from Crisis on Infinite it's Earths. It's Changeling, later known as Beast Boy, says Mark. All right, there you go. So, uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Death of Supergirl. Death of Supergirl. I love that it says that in quotes. Well, nobody really dies. If he dies, he, he dies. dies. Where is the list at? The list is right there, literally in your hand. <laughs> it says superpower throwing green beans and corn at his enemies. Ho, ho, ho. There was a little guy, too. Is his name Sprout? Yes. Listen, this is going to be a deal here. This is a classic cover. That's, that's a fantastic classic DC We just cover. got asked a very strange question, which I'll read in a moment. This Christ in the Infinite Earths, the book itself raw is probably a $20 book. Um, it's Death of Supergirl, uh, let's call it 70 bucks. Okay. Oy. Um, Patrick just asked if we could go back to our honeymoon and bring one superhero power or supervillain power, what would we bring? I would bring... I would bring the power to stop time. I was going to say the exact same thing. And I would freeze it right there when we were in the middle of Stonehenge and never leave. I don't know if I would never leave, but I would stay <laughs> a lot longer than we did. Alex claimed crisis. Uh, I, it's funny, I was going to say stop yeah, time. Yeah, we only cool. got Infinite an hour. Earth's one? Yes. Yep. Um, we only got an hour inside of Stonehenge, and it really went quickly. It did, and yeah. I carried you away. You did, and it's just, it was simultaneously the saddest and most awesome moment of my life. Isn't that weird? Yeah. The biggest thing I remember. Thank you, Alex. The biggest thing it's I remember a, you know about it's a great book. leaving the ring of Stonehenge is I couldn't. I tucked my shoes safely behind a monolith, and then I couldn't work out which one. <laughs> <laughs> like who goes to Stonehenge and loses their shoes? I you guys were smart by taking your shoes off. I did off. take I mine off. Myself. A very, uh, I didn't to, lose to mine like though. bond with the earth. You didn't lose yours because I had them, and I didn't tell you I lost yours along. All right, this mine. is a good oh, book, okay. and this is um, this is interesting. Yeah, I don't know when I price these. I don't know if I. I don't know. This is uh, the. Amazing Spider-Man 911 book. And you got some glare there. So this is typically an all black cover from 911. Yes. Uh, this was a scar very hard to sketch. find in good shape because black covers tend to get um, checks and color breaks very easily. So this is a high grade. What's in the grade on 94? It's a 94. It's CBCS. Yep. It's not CGC, it's CBCS. It's another grading company. It is graded a 94. It's a 94. Um, but this has a Scott Hanna sketch on it, and it's and one of it's one of five hundred, I think, or three hundred. It is number eighty-five of four hundred and ninety-nine. All right, so Scott Hanna, I believe, was a penciler in this. He he did the art. Him and John, yeah. John Romita Jr. did the art for this book. Um. <laughs> Frank is constantly blown away by your encyclopedia-like comic knowledge. You know every issue that John Byrne ever drew. Well, Byrne, I mean, his X-Men stuff is just... And it's, you know, listen, Byrne is... There's some Byrne classic runs. Andrew has claimed Legends 9.2. Um, so... Andrew, Scott you're, you're Hanna, sober, I'm not right? so you're sober uh, knowledgeable me. about. But this is one of <laughs> 500 sketch covers. 499. Of the, 499. That's weird they didn't do it. 
Um, there must be a reason. Let me look this up real quick. I'm I'm always telling Frank, you know, reminding him of, of John Byrne's artwork. Yeah, Justin always has to talk to Frank about, I mean, Frank's always slipping on his comic knowledge, and Justin's always got to correct right, I gotta be honest here. Frank has taught me everything I know, almost <laughs> everything I know about comics. 98% of what I know about comics. But here's the thing about Frank. Frank's very old school. So we have a comic book store. And Who does? We, we all do. We, it's a toy thought, store as well as a comic book store. I thought it was Farpoint Toys. It's, it's, Farpoint it's really turned into Farpoint Comics. comics. Uh, so we have a comic store really for sale. So, um, <laughs> except the ones that we're selling right modern now. Modern books would come in, and I would get excited like it's oh, it's the first Cap Wolf, and Frank would laugh at me because Frank is old school. And can we just talk about Cap Wolf for a second? Wait, it's Captain America, and it's a wolf, right? So Frank would laugh like, oh, so stupid. You know, they made a million of these. Well, guess what? These books that Frank would laugh at that I thought were cool or, or thought we should, like, hey, let's put the sticker on it says First Cap Wolf because he would just throw it in his dollar bin and it's a toy store. Yeah. These books end up being money now. Yeah. So he's like, yeah, I first remember laughing at you about man, that. First Silk Man. First Mole Man. Silk Man's old school. First Pace Pop Pete. Uh, so is anybody interested in the Spider-Man book? This is cool because it has the sketch on I'm it. I'm reading the back. The ad on the back is amazing. What's the price on it? I'm looking. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, sniffing can harm your nervous system. Convulsions aside, it's not that bad. So forget about the sketch on the front. Let's check out the cool ad on the back. That for... is uh, Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2, number 36. Not huffing. CBCS 9-4 with the Scott Hanna sketch is 75 bucks. 75 There's ones. one of... 499. Yeah, Frank's not old school anymore. He loves modern comics. <laughs> the the, the, uh, the motherfucker... <laughs> Uh, sorry, oh, no, we just went PG thirteen. Sorry. Now he goes through modern comics like like a uh, <laughs> like somebody digging for, an archaeologist looking for bones. Um, Alicia claimed the Spider Man nine eleven. I knew that was gonna go as well. Sorry, Victor. Alicia got it. Alicia, I think Alicia, is this your first graded book? I uh, I feel like we're setting people like we're we're we're, we're setting like we're like uh, drug dealers like. Oh, hey, just try this one graded book. book. Is that all the graded books? That's thing. all the graded books. All right, so we got... Oh, somebody claimed the legend. Oh, so nobody wants the first uh, two of... That's... Dude, that's a... Those are key issues. It that's, is. Okay, that's so those right. are two... Two of our VIPs. Alicia, congratulations. Your two first of our graded VIPs book. have now... Um, we've, we've gotten them hooked down the dark path. Oh, Victor said Victor's he's been hunting been that one for oh, a while. Oh, sorry, man. We're, we're, we're turning people on to graded we books. We are. It's awesome. Here, you want to put this one on that end? Sure. And then we'll just do this for it? Yeah. And that should be it for today. Yeah, this was a short barter town. It's 6.30, so we only went for about an hour and a half. Dude, yeah, they've been such troopers in the past. We've done... Last week was three hours of d &D, It was. And people were spending but... money like, like like they got a stimulus. And they, I know the stimulus didn't come yet. The D&D &D stimmy Yeah, checks. Frank, I can say... My, I'll buy all the Miles Morales you can get we can get our hands on. <laughs> um, hey, guys, as well, we buy comics. So we are... Uh... Yeah. Oh, 9-11's your birthday. Okay. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Alicia. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Alicia, that explains why we, we're, we're so Tara's friendly. Tara's first slab as well. Dude, we just, so we just popped the cherry on like... We're, we're both Virgos. Me and Alicia are both Virgos. That makes so much sense. Once you first start, you... Dude, book. They're like tattoos. Once you start, you want more. It's the truth because they display <laughs> so amazingly. We got a few so slabs great. ourselves. Tucker, you we we kind of like rated books. It's so good. Um, Here, fine. This was part of the collection that Frank and I and Perry went and bought yesterday. And... Uh, there was graded books, there was raw books, there was 20 long boxes. Perry bought boxes. a lot of toys that are coming here. Yes. Um, the Star Wars toys from today came from here. Came from that collection, yeah. Uh, wow. They're yeah, man. Through it. I'm going to cut it early today. Let's, you yeah. know. Yeah, I think next week is Easter, maybe? Or no. Next week is Easter? Is it? Easter's never in March. It's oh. sometimes in March. Is Not it? often. Yeah. I don't know. We'll All bring right, the we'll bunny. Let's find out. So next week is our year anniversary for Barter Town. I think that we should do something really cool. Victor's right. So he wanted he wants to show his students the black cover. It is it is iconic because if you guys remember, if you were old enough, right after nine eleven, everybody was wondering like what is in good taste and how do we commemorate this and what's in bad taste. There, nobody really knew how to act after that many Americans got you know killed. Easter is a month. Easter's April fourth. Oh. Dale is also a Virgo. I saw Frank say something. Yeah, Easter's... By the end of last week, April it 4th. felt like April being 4th. made to watch a Kardashian marathon. Yeah, he just compared us to a Kardashian marathon. I feel a certain way yeah, about that's that. that's rude. Yeah, that's Frank. I mean, come on, man. That's... 
April 4th is Easter. All right, so I was wrong about next week being Easter. But maybe <laughs> we'll start planting eggs or something. What? I don't know. You kid. You In all that. seriousness, next week is next our week one year anniversary of Bartertown. So Through the years. We're going to get copyright for this. Never let me down. Me. That's it. We're done. Me. So we're going to be cracking boxes next week. We're going to try and find more. So far we have four Yeah, we have four sealed, sealed cases. Cases from the 80s. Yes. I have very mixed feelings on opening them. I, can't I mean, wait. I kind of do too, but it's sort of like um no, Patrick, we're uh, opening sealed vintage cases next week. Yep. Case fresh? We're going to go through four cases super fast though. Well, it ain't going to be cheap. Hopefully your stimmies come through because <laughs> this is case fresh stuff. From the 80s. I mean, do we have any other boxes of stuff we can find or open? So are you not selling those Hot Wheels? We sold the Hot Wheels, Oh, we did sell some. Hold on, Casper. Hold on. Casper, you want a nice little Hot Wheels lot? Alex, next week is his anniversary. Oh, Alex. We got the Hot Wheels. I'm loving you. The muscle car. Hold on, I'm going to make, I'm going to, Casper, you asked, I'm going to make you a Hot Wheels lot and make you an (laughs) offer you can't refuse of different Hot Wheels. Or would you do $20 for the three NASCAR and the Hot Wheels? Well, I don't know how many Hot Wheels there are, brother. Right, let yeah, me see. give us a second here. We'll, 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 let's see. Let's see what we got. Let's hold. His, his people will have your people. Oh, yeah. Is there a blimp there? Is there already a blimp? Give me a blimp. Now, remember, this includes shipping. I'll take a blimp. Where's Casper live? I'm not sure where Casper lives, but I know that we ship to Casper. You want a blimp? Yeah, I want a blimp. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> I have a, a friend in Colorado with a little boy who's obsessed with Hot Wheels, so I will send him the blimp. Oh, the Fuji blimp. That's a rare one. Like Fujifilm or like... Like Mr. Fuji? Yeah, I don't know. Like Fujifilm. What is that thing? A fish? I don't know. What do you call a fish with no eyes? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not. <laughs> That's why we are. <laughs> to go eat. Oh, I think I'm the only person that didn't eat before, before Is food this. happening? happening? I am not hungry. He just ate. He went to Wawa and ate. I was going to eat a sandwich I had laying in the back, but I did yeah. not. Yes, Patrick, that is a giant Kermit in the back. Um, it is a photo, basically a photo prop. It's a posable life-size Kermit prop with all bendable limbs and whatnot. Um, he's just one of our mascots, Human Barnabas. Right, was that Casper asking about this? It was Casper. You got three NASCARs. He said he wants to make it worth our while with shipping. Four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> Thank nine, you, Casper. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um, where does he live? Casper, I'm not sure. I'll do twenty bucks for for this. Twenty for bucks shipped. For what? Yeah, how much do you think it's going to be? I think really? that it's heavy, so I think that it's not going to be first class. So just keep it's that in mind. Not going to be first class. What um. Uh, just, just put it in Hot Wheels lot. If Casper, if you want this lot, is it that whole stripe plus yeah. those three? Yep. It's all of it. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's this is easy. all of individual Hot Wheels. <laughs> this is this, and then this. It's a nice little lot. Some of the cards are better than others. There might be a rare car here. I'm not going to take the time to look it up. There might be a twenty dollars. Do we here. watch the Masked Singer? He is in Oregon, so literally the furthest oh, the possible furthest place possibly that he could be. Casper, twenty five bucks, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> You couldn't be further for it to be free shipping unless Hawaii. Now, Hawaii and Oregon cost the same. That's crazy. Hawaii, Oregon, California. Hey, go to Portland and say hi to Billy Galaxy uh, for us. Washington, Texas, uh, Florida, Alaska. 25, and I'll throw in the um, the Bruce Lee. The Jim Lee car. <laughs> uh, it's Bruce Lee with art by Jim Lee. Selena, your hands are on camera. Just so you know. If you want to, Casper, that's straight to you. You can say claim, or I'll pass it along. We'll keep, do it in our 25 I keep approaching months. into the table. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, shy, anybody, so. anybody have any questions? Listen, hey, hey, how do you guys feel about this? We've been tossing this idea around. 25 bucks. So let's bag this up for Casper. Awesome. It's all yours, Casper. Thank you. How do you guys feel about doing uh, uh, us do a Farpoint Toys AMA? Would you guys be interested in, in just sitting and uh, Basically, AMAing us? Basically, exactly how we already do. Yeah, but we're like <laughs> giving them the forum. You know what I mean? Like, just open the bag and I'll drop them in. Well, we really could be cool if there was a way we I could like, bring the person on, you know, uh, to, to like zoom them on. Like zoom them on. You yeah, know, they sometimes get that. We'd have to use Zoom for that, and that would not work as far as being live, because we couldn't be live on Zoom through Facebook. Mark, I can't throw in a cap. There were only three, and they got cleaned, I believe. Unless he means a hat. Oh, we don't he have any hats. Hat. Nobody calls hats caps. I can't imagine Maybe he anybody. does. Tiffany said it would be awesome. Dina wants us to do an AMA. Uh, we're thinking about doing it. 
and that is 25 bucks for Casper. You can actually hand me the whole we're, bag. You know, we, you know, we were going to do it on Reddit, but there's like a whole, um, there. cool. there's a whole wriggle yeah, roll. Yeah, you have to be like, um, vetted and like, made actually sure famous. you're who you are. It's very dramatic. Um, at least that's what Kermit tells us, because I, I don't read it. I don't really know anything about it. It's weird. Well, it's how would we do it? Like a video, like right here? We would just do a live video, yeah. Claim Matthew Keith crisis. Miller wants to claim Crisis. I think Crisis got claimed. Which, the other Crisis? Oh, Identity Crisis, Matthew? Yeah, he probably means that. It's going to the left. Back. Sure. Number one, nine, eight, uh, sketch variant cover. What was the quote from that? Okay, uh, your sister wrote it down. Ah, Identity Crisis, yes. Matt, let us know. And Matt, are you new? I don't recognize your name. I think I may. Um, if you are new, please message us. Uh, and say, hey, I claimed Crisis. That way it makes it easier for us to send you your uh, the invoice. Uh, the sketch cover, 75 So Crisis is 75 Ooh. Free shipping to you. Yep, ID Crisis. Cool, that's yours, bro. So thank you. Um, and if you want some here, just shoot us a message real quick. Um, hey, claimed identity crisis. It just makes it easier for us to send you your checkout link. Yep. Oh, your nose is cold and wet. Tucker. That's good. That means he's healthy. Yeah, it, he's sticking it on my stomach, though. <laughs> so yeah, we're thinking about doing a, an AMA for you guys just to sit and, you know, we like to talk, and that way you're, there's no... Yeah, um, we can't shut up. There's no... We love to talk. Hey, spend money with us kind of thing. Just kind of get us to know this better and ask questions. And do us a favor. Uh, we're going to share the link. Um, what should we do it here and now? To the YouTube. Okay. And please share the link to my our... My phone died. Can you just take the comments? If I had the link, can so, can one of you find the link <laughs> to, on YouTube to our um, a Toy Store Near You episode? I could do it, but it'll mess up the screen, and you hate it when the screen changes. I can't do anything with my computer while we're doing the stream. Well, um, it really depends on what it is. I hate to take. I'm not really into taking. Oh um, well, no, donations. donations. No, we would we would take a look at whatever you're trying to. Sell, but shoot us some pictures, Harold, and yeah. that way maybe you'll get some money for for the move. You know what I mean? I hate that you're moving out of the area, but I hope you know everything works out. But and we can always use Joe Parts. You know, you of all people know how it is, GI Joe Parts wise. It gets expensive. Alicia, thank you. Um, all right, so we're gonna be doing an AMA. Somebody. When is that gonna be on the main page so anybody can come? Yeah, because I mean, maybe the VIPs get to like submit their questions. Submit in advance. their questions in advance, and we address Ooh, those first. I like that. You know, that way. The, thank you, Casper. So I have the. I was gonna say I have the link um, while I do it. <laughs> So yeah, we'll, that's we'll, a good we'll, idea. We'll, in the VIPs, we'll let you guys ask questions in advance, I love that. and we will field them first. Yeah, that's a great idea. Right? Because we always want to make sure the VIPs get yeah, yeah. whatever we're giving everyone else. The VIPs get first. They get the, they get the, <laughs> the early hug in the beginning. Yes. Yeah, cool. I don't know. All right, hour forty-five. We're gonna cut this one early. Yeah, I'm We've good. been going three hours and three hours. I'm good. I'm good. Today I have my early. contacts in, so my eyes are tired. We freaking love you all, especially the ones who bring us food. <laughs> That's rude. Um, I mean, that's so sweet, though. It's funny. Veronica was so sweet and made us these cookies. Yes. I, 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 They're my dessert. I will be eating one of them right after the stream. Breakdancing Banshee, I like. He are is. we good? Are we ready? Uh, Next yep. week is our one-year anniversary for Bartertown, and we are going to be celebrating. How is actually moving closer. Oh, good. Um, we are going to be celebrating next week by unboxing vintage stuff, cases. Crazy talk. Case fresh. Sacrilege. Crazy talk. Crazy talk. Um, Although I might want to risk you. All right. I'm saying goodbye. Are you saying goodbye? Are we saying, saying goodbye? goodbye. Bye. All right. We're saying goodbye. Yep. Thank you all can't, so much for coming. Can't put any music on the end of it, Yeah, no music because we're being, you know, no, copyrighted. Because I'm not allowed to use my own music. Yeah, that's fun. Um, but anyway, on an upward, high, upbeat note, not yes, a depressed upbeat note, note, let's say goodbye to everybody and see you next week for we our anniversary. We love you all. Thanks for hanging. Bye. Bye.